Boo! Hey everyone, Paul I say welcome to Friday Night Live at the Bench Show. So it's for our build night tonight, so you get to sit back with us, uh, chill out, have a bit of chit chat, some questions while we build away. Hopefully, build them with you guys and girls as well. And uh, we've still got a giveaway tonight. We've got Dan section as well. Uh, we've got questions for the crew with Graham, and uh, and that's it really. So just sit back, chill out, and enjoy. The show of us uh, tonight. We've got we've got Andreas, we've got Graham, we've got Adam, the, who you've probably seen before a while back. Uh, we've got Dan, we've got Norman, we've got Sam, we've got Tim, and we've got me as well. Now, giveaways tonight. Obviously, in Dan's section, we've got our goodie bag for the uh, favorite build of the week. And tonight, uh, what we're going to do from now on on the build nights, the audience is going to pick. You guys and girls out there are going to pick. And on the new proper show nights, we'll pick. So we're alternating from week to week. <laughs> the winner, uh, and the winner, obviously, every week. You put back. So pack of sanders, pick up pencils, sweets, stickers, etc., etc. You okay there, Graham? <laughs> yeah, just dropping everything. Yeah. Uh, and then from emodels.co.uk, we got a one thirty fifth. Did you swear? I said spider. Oh, I thought it was a fiver. No. no. <laughs> um, from emodels.co.uk, we got a one thirty fifth teeth. From Trumpetel, very nice, Ooh. very nice kit, very cool. Uh, so all you gotta do to win that is watch the show, and when prompted in the chat, pick a number, and we'll do a live the generator, and you win it at random. It is really that simple. So, have you had a good week? Why, I man, yeah, yeah. Why, I, man, yeah. 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 
Bring your Xbox in on Yeah, all right. Yeah. Could be better, could be worse. Yeah. Um, that's it. So, Dan, is Dan there? Yes, he is. Dan, is your section busy? Uh, relatively, yeah. Not forum as much as Facebook, but that's the norm, though. Isn't it? Uh, Graham, you're, I've seen a few questions in your bit. Yeah, there's a few. Um, I haven't looked at the forum yet. I will have a look in a moment. Cool. Um, and that's it, really. So, sit back and uh, enjoy the show with us. you got any questions, uh, put a question mark in front of it through the show, and we'll get to it. If we miss it, just repost it. Give us a chance to get to it, though. Uh, repost it, and we'll get to it there and then. Um, I've got a few things to talk about first, just preliminaries to get through. And if anyone else got anything briefly to pipe up when I'm done. Um, so the Tron car build ends in ooh, six, seven days. Um and then the first September, we've got the start of the muscle car build, which I talked about in my adventure updates uh, everything here. So you want to take part in that. I'll probably open a section up on the forum. We'll see how busy that is. The car builds don't go down great on the forum, if I'm honest. Uh, they don't get a lot of comments. Get quite a few views, but not a lot of people comment on them. So I give this one last shot. And if not, I won't open any more car build sections up on the forum. But we'll see how it goes. Uh, and obviously, you can post it on Facebook as well, if you wish. To take part, you need to post updates. We had a miraculous entry to the touring car build appeared the other day that i hadn't even seen before uh no build updates so i won't include them if it's not part of being in a group build just building it and then posting it um so that starts the first september We're gonna run that for two months and then the first of october where is the year gone it's crazy yeah. um i propose a truck build Woo! so that's gonna last for three months thought it'd give me a bit longer on that one that should take us up to christmas shouldn't it new year yeah um and it's any truck so be it a you know uh fixed cab whatever they are trailer thing rigid rigid that's the word oh. or an arctic uh <laughs> your choice wherever you want to do and uh we'll, we'll get that one on the, the go as well uh quite a lot of interest and a few people anticipating the build as well <laughs> and uh yeah it should be good fun i know i haven't built one for a long time the last time i did it i hand painted it with enamels mm. for some reason um and yeah so that's it uh there'll probably be more builds amongst the time but they're the uh the good build sig buddy builds i want to do so is that um civilian trucks <sighs> mm. Mm. yeah i think we'll stick to civilian we were looking through some uh some with uh dan the other night and we found some really funky like military-ish type trucks but uh, I, I remember when he did when Eric did his um, truck build. There was a lot of discussion then about what did and did. I got Eric did a truck build. Yeah, I remember. That. Um, I can't remember the name of it now. Oh, Eric. he's bowing down. That's it. Well done. I Thank remember you. that now. Yes, yeah. I remember. Yeah, um, and we were we were having <laughs> troubles then trying to decide what, and we could. I think the Uni Mog was. No, I, remember, I remember that argument well. Yeah, that, that, was looking at. that was literally, I think, that was the that was the smallest. Uh, yeah. yeah, that will be the cut off then. Truck we we yeah. decided at the time then. Uh, okay. mark or any rigid truck trailer, but I think we will stick to civilian. Cool. Uh, civilian slash emergency services. How about we do that? Ooh. Bin lorry. Oranges out there. Well, yeah, we probably could because it's technically a rigid truck, isn't it? Yes. Mm -hmm. There's um, yeah, some, yeah, really nice, some really nice bin lorry kits around. Is it? Is it? Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure I've seen a couple of um, I think like really cool. modern, really modern bin trucks. Yeah, really? Yeah, I have to find out. That'd be interesting. So yeah, if anyone wants to take part, let us know. But again, I'll put a post up about it. I'll talk about the next bench update. Go in a bit more. It should be probably Monday or Tuesday. Excited. Yeah, it'd be good. Uh, mm -hmm. I can't decide what to do. Really can't. Mm -hmm. uh, I've got that thing hanging over me there that Sam bought me because he's yeah, made that's me. cool. I, I love that. My six before up there as well. Um, <sighs> but I'm thinking of getting the dumper trailer, so maybe we'll do that. Oh. So that'll run for three months. That'll take us up to Christmas. Um, and then there'll be my Christmas buddy build as well. Oh. Which every year has been an aircraft, and this year it won't be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, there, there is from the forum builds, there is coming up the World War One yes. uh, build. I'm, I was just about to try and find out what, when that does and doesn't. It's start September, I think. Yeah, start September. Yeah, I'll have to set the forum for Um, I'm definitely going to be uh, cracking open. I've got the new triple uh, tri uh, triplane coming, which hasn't got actually any rigging. So I'm going to uh, I'm going to do that one. 
Excellent. Doing that. Well, anybody got anything else? All their business we need to get through? Uh, I don't think so. No? No. 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 Um, Tim, do you want to read the chat? Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 oh god! I'd have had a Captain Morgan. So oh, 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 even better. Oh, as long as you're not sick on land, then you'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> I think we need a trip. So I'll let's go in there. This will be good. I I'm with you. I'm, I'm thinking it with coke though. Yeah. Oh, I, I can quickly have a quick shot. I don't mind having a quick shot. Lick the bottle. I can't shot roof. Licking the bottle. Yeah. Ah. Uh, right, let me get a lot of pop out um, uh, live chat. Uh, uh, before we start, should we go through what we're working on tonight? That's a good idea. Uh, right, Andreas. Don't yes. Say this. Adam, turn your mic and camera on. He's not there. He'll be back in a bit. All right, oh. Bring the baby to bed. Um, let's find the box art. It's the latest ICM MiG-25, um, the one with the corrected nose, Ooh. they say. Fucking good, though, mate. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's got the uh, eight hands on there. Um, big, big, it? That is a big size plane. Yeah, it's, well, it's not. Yeah, it's big, but it's, it's not big in... Wingspan, but it's it's a massive. It's a what? it's a bit. It's a I big brick. The chat was going to be painful. Anyway, what 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 size comparison is it to that fire truck thingy that's on the bed? Oh, oh, that's 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 not relevant. He <laughs> 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 was playing with that for a long. Uh, there's the F14. Yeah, about the same size. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good cool. size. Good size. It's very... Graham. Hello. I am working on. Wait, you um, always act surprised. Oh, oh. I'm surprised. So I'm working on my. I'm going to keep this simple. I'm working on my Hanna Mag and um, V2 rocket. Yeah. Be a, bit, a little less simple, but. Uh, Mr. Dan, who's doing his makeup. No, I'm not doing makeup. Cleaning. Yeah. Cleaning. Um, I'm working on him again. Some more. Oh, oh, we got around the neck. Oh, he's looking good. Excellent. Looking very 70s with that shirt on. Well, it is what it is. I don't know if I'm having colour black or brown yet. I don't know. I've not made my mind up. <laughs> he, modelled that, he modelled that on Norman's wardrobe. Is your colour brown? No. No, the tank top. Each week it looks more and more like you, Dan. It's getting, yeah, mm. it looks, yeah very resembling. <laughs> Especially in my eyes. Norman. Uh I'll be continuing work on this one, which is that one there. Mm. Oh, that one. Why not? That one. That one. Your camera's not re your camera's reversed, mate. Is it? All right, don't worry about it. We can see what it is. I'll train you round. So I'll be continuing just on that one. I'm done well, on I think oh come disease about that dance thing. Oh, what's going on about the chat? <laughs> Excellent. Sam. <laughs> I'm working on the B Max M3. Oh, done in the oh. Comanche colors. Oh, something good. Um, which, which I decaled this morning between half past one and half past five. Yep. That's, yep. that's another dedication for you. Comanche. Uh, Madness. Oh, like Comanche. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's what I'm working on. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Jump, oh. in, jump, jump in the queue now. Uh, <laughs> doing some more work on the FAMO trail. This. Excellent. Oh, Back there, got to just get on with that bit. Very cool. I like that. Like the fact. Right, right, and I'm carrying on with the uh, fixing the bodywork on that. They're screwed up. Um, so, long story short, I managed to get a brand new sprue from the hobby company. I had some spare decals left from the first time round, but it would have left the front cowling not being redone and the rear end not being redone, which yeah. it did from the decals. So I wouldn't have been completely happy until I stumbled across another one of those. Yeah. With a 40 quid detail upset and a 20 quid fork set, 55 quid on eBay the other night. So I bought that. That's a proper bargain. When you bear in mind that kit can go for 70 quid alone because you can't yeah. do it anymore, it was a bargain. So now I have a full new set of decals, full cowling, uh, which I did buy another cowl from the Hobbyco yesterday as well. But I've got two now, so that's not a bother. Um, 
and that's that. So what I'll probably do then is when I'm happy with my body work, I'll sell this kit on without any body work and shove in the stuff I painted and somebody can have a, a kit to finish off. That's the plan. So tonight I'm doing body work again. And uh, yeah, we'll see if we can actually get this thing done. I actually got a bit of the mojo back because if you notice behind, the bike stash has gone down considerably. And I've only kept kits that I really want to do now. So it takes a bit of pressure off. And uh, that's what's going to happen. So there we go. So I'm going to hand you over to Tim. Hey. Hey, Tim. It could go wrong, eh? What? Nothing, mate. Nothing wrong. Any gigolos in there? Or uh, Frank, Frank, uh, Tim, Frankie says yes. There's probably some pirate. I love turkey. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm just chuck, chuck some glue on this. What are the ones have we got? R R Rudiger? Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's get start off. Who we got first? We've got Richie Lamb. Good evening, artists of noble art and mo modeling. Oh. Uh, no, like oodling, but for noodles. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. Uh, Adam's there. Adam's here. Adam's there. Adam's here. It's, uh, Yo, dudes. Happy Friday. Um, Ethic, that's nearly saying something wrong. Seni pa, sen, senpai, senpai. There we go. Hello, fellow colleagues. I hope you had a good, uh, had as good week as me. Or oh, wonder what you did, which made your week good. Uh, Matthias saying hello, chaps. Al McNeish, good evening, folks. Yeah. Scale model vamp, good evening and wicked Friday to you all. Mr. Alex Hillman, good evening, folks. Sergeant Bones here. I'm here. He's oh, there. Really? He's there. Uh, Black Rifle Model Works, good evening. Hello, mate. Hello, Luke. Hello, Luke. Uh, Jamie Garvin, good evening, everybody. Um, so, uh, Alex BG, hi, guys. Hope everyone is well and has had a good week. Looking forward to the show tonight. A couple of hours modelling respite. That's from Alex BB. Mm -hmm. uh, um, uh, Al saying, Al saying he's drinking beer. Oh, it's Budweiser. That doesn't count. That's not beer. Beer. Uh, Oddball saying, good evening, fellow modellers and Uncle Anakin. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> He's going to be crying for those that don't know. <laughs> Uncle Anakin. Oh. You can't talk, Graham. You thought the Princess Leia was Senator Palpatine? Yeah. No. <laughs> Who did? Very oh, close to that. Tim, no, you oh. didn't get eye horse at him. You didn't even know what a Death Star was. I didn't. I want, I, what? Hang on. Can I, can I just say today, right, over above my spray booth, I just have a Star Destroying hanging. Just took down to just, it, was, it was one of those Revel ones I sprayed and made up. I gave it to James. He was made up. And you know what? My three-year-old boy knew what a Star Destroyer was. <laughs> three years old and knew what a Star Destroyer was. Oh. You're, you're, you're less smart than a three-year-old. That makes you then, Graham. You know that? Yeah. Well, there we go. They all learnt something new today. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Norm D saying it's the weekend. Folks, just have a laugh. Enjoy tonight's show. Come on, Norman. Who's making a racket? Who's making a racket. Mute yourself. Oh, There's only ever one person making well, a racket. Sort it out, Andreas. No. Yes. <laughs> right, you Jack. Get you out. Yeah, <laughs> um, so <laughs> we've got uh, I'm looking on track now. Scott scale model uh, vamps, he's having a brandy and coke, no ice. He's just commented, I want to say he's hoping he posted the correct thread earlier. He did, you did, but you put four pictures, it's one picture, dude. Yeah, there's in the uh, rules, mate. Got to read the rules. The rules. Got to read the rules. Read the rules. Goldfish. Uh, yeah, yeah, that, right. That's I've been a little up and down this week. Ooh. Hope you're okay, Jay. That could be a bit rude. Well, hope you're okay, Jay. I'm sure you do fine. Do you want to hang out again as well? Yeah. It'll make you right up. What? Uh, Andrew Haycock, evening all. Scam model van. Uh, Mr. Gav, evening model. Uh, Mr. Gav, evening model fans. Oh, uh, so John Stone greeting slaves to the plastic. Spidey eight, hello, Spidey. <laughs> I, 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 was, I was I was thinking that no, Squiddy wasn't it? I was, I was calling him Squiddy eight. We're leaving it, Squiddy eight. Hi, folks. His name's hey, real name's Mitch. Hey, his real name's Mitch. Mitch, yeah. I can't remember that. It's not Mike. Right. <laughs> I won't remember that either. I know. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, Mr. Mini Dreams, you probably did it yourself. I'm not saying that out, say it loud. I get fine, probably. Um, he's been running around all day. He's been running around all day. No modeling for him at all. Uh, Steve saying hello, all plastic fanatics from Southport, and a good evening to Paul and the Sprue Crew. Hey, mate. Uh, Mr. War General, hello, all. Just oh, off a scotch and about to light up a Cuban. Okay. Have to work. Uh, uh, to work a half day tomorrow. So that, many jokes. Two. I think it means two weeks. Two weeks. I hope it's two weeks for you, mate. I hope it's two weeks. America nearly lit up a load of those in 1969, didn't they? Yep. Mm. Mm. That's a gag for you. <laughs> <laughs> Bit close to the wide air, Graham. Oh. Was it 69? It was, wasn't it? Yeah. Anyway, carry on. Anyway. Mark Scalmodel saying hi all. Uh, uh, Darren Don 900, evening all. New name? Dan, Dan, Dan Randon. It's probably just um, him reading it different. You call Darren? It's probably just Darren, but Darren Don 900, evening all. Oh, my leg, Tim. <laughs> I'm going to go back and look at this name. <laughs> <laughs> it's Dan Randon. Oh, my life. <laughs> <laughs> Tim's turned, into, Tim's turned into like a dinosaur. <laughs> Damn random. <laughs> we love you, Tim. Have another shot, Tim. <sighs> no, I'm, I'm going to have to finish this one off first. Um, uh, Joe's model kits, evening all crap week for me as my damn knees are playing up again. Uh, I'm, I'm on loopy pills as may drop off during the show. Have a great long weekend, everyone. Oh, yes. Extra long weekend for all the workers. It's a bonk holiday. Mm. A bonk holiday indeed. Is it? Yep. Yeah. Is anybody going to be doing it? No, I just want to ask that. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> John Henley, good evening, folks. Um, oh, he's had a, the War General's had a hailstorm earlier. Ooh. Oh, didn't think your car. Uh, hey, Mika. Hey? We had a hailstorm around here. Duh. Uh, it had been two o'clock ish, half two ish. I was up scaffold at the time. I was soon down, I can tell you. I bet you got down nice and quick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, 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 yeah. Hey, Mika, evening all making models, evening boys and girls. Hello, Carl. Um, there's a man from a forest. Don't know where the forest is, though. No. Where's that? There's uh, Eric Mason. Happy Friday to you all from Cornwall. Mm. Ontario, Canada, first time here. How can he be in Cornwall and in Canada? Because Cornwall's a, a place in Ontario in Canada. Not Cornwall's down the south coast. <laughs> Dafty. Hey, Eric. <laughs> and it's Masson, not Mason. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, it is Masson, not Mason, is it? Oh, okay. yes. thank, you for, thank, you for, thank you for correcting me there. No, I'm just, you know. New guy, you don't want to muck his name when you first attempt. You've already told him he's telling lies about where he lives, poor bloke. Oh, yeah, good. Point. <laughs> uh, Islam Punk, high crew and gang. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I, I half as I might just do this to get you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Open morning, gods are being good to you all. Oh, uh, Dave Cotty. <laughs> 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 Oh, <laughs> Francis. Oh. I can't say his surname. Uh, Parry. I couldn't even say it correctly if I tried to in the first place. Is it Parry? Parry. 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 Yes, the accent of the Parry. I know you say A, mate. It's an E. Parry. E. An accented E makes an A sound. Why didn't they write A then? Got a good point there. French. Oh, French, that explains all. Oh, an A in French makes an A ah sound. Oh. <laughs> oh, wee wee. Oh, wee wee. Uh, I have one from North Quebec instead of my home. Oh, oh nice. The Frenchie from Quebec. Nice. Uh, John Henley got a week off finally, so plenty of modelling time on the cards. Oh, that's nice, a week off. Uh, Stuart Scow Models, evening, Stuart. Uh, good evening, fellow Sprue addicts. Unfortunately, working through the bank holiday. Oh. Uh, uh, otherwise, <laughs> <laughs> otherwise, I'd be going to my my Myths, Wings and Wheels show in Dunsfold Airfield, maybe next year. Mm. 
Well, I hope they get some good weather. Hello, John. Give them a chance. Yeah. I hope they get some good weather because it's a bit of a mixed weekend weather, this one. So you might might have been not been the worst thing to miss. What do you mean? It's pissing down all weekend. Uh, it's pissing down now. It's pissing down tomorrow and it's pissing down Sunday from what yeah, I know. That's my case. Mm. But good Monday. Um, um, get that. <laughs> well, all, 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 it's all happening Monday. Someone get that comments uh, out of that chat. Hey. Okay. Yeah. Oh, cool. Uh, Clinton Eels, evening all from the future. Oh, nice to see you from the future. Basil, don't post stuff like that, bud. Oh, it's a bit some of in a week. Yeah. That'll get, you, that'll get you removed from the chat. <laughs> Uh, Tony's there saying good evening, everyone. Gad Wilcox saying hello, everybody. Uh, Scale Model Vamps waiting for the muscle car build off. He's looking forward to that one. Mm -hmm. um, Cam saying happy Friday, everyone. Hope you're all good. Hello. Uh, Metropolitan Line is here. Frey, email, dude. Let me know about those books because if not, I'm going to move them on eBay, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Let me know. Be great. Chuck anything. One second. Uh, yeah. no, we don't do that, Basil. Here's the from show. Sorry, I'm sorry. I decided to jump on me. There's my trolls and like Steve uh, Tolska. Well, uh, what? Uh, sorry, just reading through who's actually saying hello. Oh, yeah, Darren Greenwood's evening fellow uh, plastic fettlers. Roger Honing evening all from the Netherlands. Uh, oddball, gotta love it. Gotta love it. Um, Tom's got gum disease. Don't know why. It's uh, Dan's Joker. No, I want to say oh, was that the Joker? He does look like he's got it. I was like, what? Mm. Uh, uh, Sprue Doctor, hello, plastic foot modelers. Oh, you missed, uh, missed Tommy out. I've seen Tony for a while. Sprue Doctor. Oh, sorry, yeah, Killbox. Hello, Killbox. Sorry, Tony. Uh, hi, guys. <laughs> Uh, totally scales modern uh, modeling. So total scale models has got a problem with next door's leaky stuff. Cock. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. So many things. Cop, cop it with both hands. <laughs> so many things. Grip it firmly. Um, <laughs> yeah, model tighten, tighten the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> get, get the pack under good scene too. Hold on while I mute. <laughs> Oh, oh John Stone, Tim was right. The upgraded cannons for the shield car are a total waste of time. I hope that doesn't mean you bought some and chopped up the original kit items. Yeah, they're not very. They're not. They're not worth doing. Good evening. Uh, this is from John Howe. Good evening. Nice to be back on this Friday night. Oh. Nice to have you along, DJ Old School Modeler. Hey all. Uh, Claire saying hi everyone from IKEA. Ooh, what are you buying in IKEA, Claire? Meatballs. Meatballs. <laughs> Go <laughs> <laughs> okay, passionate evening all time for a long weekend to chill out. Um da -da -da -da. Uh, Richie Paul Colson all right. Everyone needs to go to IKEA now and again. Exactly. Um, IKEA makes a walk again. It's, it's the most fun you could have walking. Unless one member of staff leaves one of those short court doors open. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I always bust through the short court. You, you look around, you've got to work out. Tim, are you sure you've only had one drink? Yeah, I don't only really have one. Okay. So far. Uh, Mr. Alex Hillman, I'm working on a new Tamir kit. I've posted a couple of pics. The decals worry me. Is there a suggestion for replacement? Ben. I take it he's posted a couple. Where he posted a couple of pics, Mister. I have some Facebook. I think I've seen them. Yeah. I'll have a look at that one. High Spring Crew. Andrew Callis saying, uh, "Mad mm. Hatters." Hope you're all well. Evening, Andrew. Amadeus. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Face. Like, what the hell? <laughs> Just bring it uh, yeah, Dan Random saying the fail off saying Dan Random. Right, hang on, hang on. You can't just skip the names you don't want to read. I want to read them. You missed Typhoon Typhoon out. I'm not, I don't blame it. I nearly gave that one away, but I should have that one. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Sorry, ciao. <laughs> you know that. Sorry. What? Oh, dear. This is great. I'm 
burn in a tannin. That's I what I'm you'd have been currently to that. And I thought that <laughs> we did chat back <laughs> David Coates saying what? I don't know. What? You, you said his name wrong and Graham said something. Oh. What, Graham? <laughs> Nothing. Graham. Me. You're right, Dan. Eh? Uh, so Dan Randon saying something about saying his name wrong. I'm definitely not saying your name wrong. That's what it says, Dan Randon. You can't you uh, can't start John Newton. Oh, oh, God. Uh, <laughs> about they're fixed, in it? Yeah. In uh, it. Apparently, uh, cell phone posting sucks. Uh, but I think actually on the for the forum it works really damn good now. Yeah, yeah. It really does. Forum is much better than Facebook on picture quality. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The uh, Facebook thing throttles your pictures terribly. Yeah. They yeah. Do. yeah. Yeah. They do. I mean, when, when we've seen your pictures, Paul, that you you <laughs> do on the forum compared to the um, luckily around me, yes, so much better, so much better. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Dan Randon saying John Newton uh, won a bet. I, I bet I could mess all the names up. <laughs> uh, Ray Aquilina, hello, my friends from Malta. <laughs> Basil Bean, sorry, I'm bad. Yeah. Is that a like a reference to a song? No, he was, <laughs> he's got a white glove on him, grabbing his crotch. He's like, ooch. Did you find Joe Jack really funny thing, Graham? No, I'm laughing at something else. Sorry. No. Okay. I, I'm reading that really random question by. I'm not even going to say the name. You know, let Tim get to that name. <laughs> Eric Mason saying Cornwall was a small town southeast of Ottawa. Along the St. Lawrence River, look it up. If I look up Cornwall, I know exactly where it's going to send me. I bet you bloody don't. If, if, I, if I tell my missus to go send me to Cornwall, she'll take me to Somerset. It's happened before, but <laughs> trust me. Do I go left at this junction or do I go straight on? Go straight on. Why is it saying welcome to Somerset? I was saying, well, tell you, tell you. Right. You're a quiet day today, Tim. Yeah, it's been a break. Yeah. <laughs> Just me at work uh, the whole day. Well, a... wait, wait until he gets to this name near the bottom because then the fun will really begin. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, oh, he's jumping. Uh, model, it, model in a shed saying evening all. Oh, Hi, Sean. Um, da -da -da. <laughs> Paul. Yeah. <laughs> Paolo. Oh. Paolo. <laughs> what? Paolo. How did you get to, from Paolo to Paul? Oh, Paolo, Paolo, isn't it? Paolo, Paolo Coutinho. Paolo says one from Yaxley. Oh, where's Yaxley from? Uh, sorry, is it? Next to Paolo. Carmel. Oh, see, I, see, I told you, didn't it? it was. Uh, Stephen, Stephen Skoda. Oh, I can get that one wrong. Good day, all. JC Lebebebev. Uh, greetings, all. Uh, Sprugloo addict, Tim's absolutely sozzled. I'm not sozzled. I've just be. I've had one in quiet days. I'm just a bit. He's been on the glue. Try and keep going. Uh, Ray Williams, good evening. Ray. South Africa. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> that was quite close. Stop trying to read them properly, Tim. Come on. What was that one? Go on. Ryan Williams. Uh, no man models. Good evening from Portugal. Oh, hello. Uh, Hunter Hunter Andrews, morning from New, New Zealand. <laughs> right. right, let's give that one a go. Okay. Yeah, go on. oh, j now, is it Javier? Uh -huh. Yeah. Javier yeah. Bicente. Yeah, Javier, well done, Tim. Javier Bicente Penamino. That'll do. Oh, hey. yeah, good, good attempt. Or Java Bicente Penamino. I think they serve that at my local restaurant. <laughs> I say, you could probably buy it. It'd probably be served like up if you went to a restaurant. Have you planned to create a Roman legion in formation? Turtle with a monk with his celestial sword against the golem of a rock and a vegetation in votes by the druid who curses him. <laughs> <laughs> He's, got to be friends. He's got to be friends with Rich. You know. How about we go with no? No. no, no, but but now you said it. Now you've asked me, I could be interested in doing that. 
Whose sword is it, though? Move on. Oh, all right. Stephen, let's go. Oh, it's jumped again. Mm. Canary Islands. Oh, nice to meet you from Canary Islands. You, you're Canary. Uh, oh, what's on? Oh, my word. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Read the chat up and salt them. That's what he said. <laughs> That's my job. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, Oddball saying he wants some of what I've had. You just come work with me all day. You'll, you'll, you'll have loads of it. Um, Dan Randon, you are right. Yeah, laugh, sir. Yes, he. Dirty mess, uh, Mr. Islam Punk messed mine up. <laughs> yes, <sir. He's> laugh. <laughs> Ryan Williams, how's it, vamp? Hey. Oh, God. Uh, Rig 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 Nick, Oh, Nick, 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 Hello from Jeffrey's Bay, South Africa. Oh, I should have said that with a really bad accent then. No. I should have kissed. You should have kissed, didn't it? Yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, my word. Uh, da, 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 da. Well, I think we've... I think... Uh, I think that's the last of the hellos. Uh, no, there's no question, yeah. Um, but we, uh, Paul just gave me uh, models of heroes 10 pounds for my bad comment from Basil Bean. That's very really nice did. of you, Basil. Thank you. Thank Tim, what are the gloves for? They look stained. <laughs> 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 what have you been up to in there, Tim? Oh, what are these? Hey, Kevlar's. <laughs> what these ones over here? Are the Kevlar gloves? Yeah, these, yeah, yeah, they are. These are proper Kevlar gloves. They would stand up. Oh no, they're not. <laughs> <laughs> they would. They are like proper flame retardant. These they things. look like blue work gloves from a distance. Yes. Oh my life. Oh. Uh, <sighs> sausage from the clear, uh, clear clean coke. <laughs> that will be what the hell? I don't know. That's game model vamp. I'm not. I'm not sozzled from anything. To be honest. Uh, Andreas Lekker means nice in Norwegian. That's really mm. interesting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's in the chat further. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, I keep jumping again. Uh, Everett Henderson. Hello, everyone. Looking forward to the hobby boss. Uh, King Tiger review. I was about to jump down there near King Tiger review. I'm hoping to get that done over the weekend. Uh, Stromman needs more drink. Yes. Yeah, um, Islam Punk saying prices. Thank you. <laughs> Tim to police officer. I haven't been drunk enough, officer. Okifer. Uh, Rigard Van. Now you have butchered that, Tim. Well. If I hadn't butchered your one, I'll butcher every other one else's. So I had to give yours a go. Uh, Andreas is saying hello because we obviously hadn't, anyone hadn't heard from him yet. No. Uh, Modeling the shed, just checking I'm not standing on plastic. Plastic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is line I really want to say. <laughs> I'm going to leave it. Yes. Uh, Neil, uh, 338. 381st modeling group. Hi guys, hope you're all well. Hello, Neil. Uh, Hello, Neil. Uh, Tim went to the Prince Philip School of Charm. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> uh, Roger Honing, Tim, your English is just as good as my French. Wee <laughs> wee. Oui, oui. um, well, Tim is French. Exactly. That's why I have my problems with English. Uh, Dan Edmonds just spent fifty pounds on a near Alpha and Mayo one five Bosch with the neck decal. Living dream. I think Shunko still doesn't fly, don't they? I can't remember if they still do. Matt! Matt will know. Matt will know. <clears throat> I, I haven't got a Bosch one, Matt. I'm, I'm not lucky enough, mate. I've got a cash for one instead. Mm, oh, yeah. Which one's that for, Paul? The uh, 155 Bosch. Yeah, I have a set of Bosch um, aftermarket decals, Matt. Yeah, we'll keep all of them for yourself because you probably need them. Yeah. So I don't think you can get them anymore. No, I saw them. On eBay, um, ridiculously cheap for a bunch. That's it. That. Oh, Cam's asking, does do I get sprue points for every name he gets correctly? 
But no. if I did, I wouldn't get any points. I should buy him for everyone he butchers. What? That's not me. That's mean, man. Um, Sprue, uh, Sprue Blue Addict, Julius Caesar. I'm not sure that's <laughs> what. Uh, wait for the camera click. Yeah. Oh, it's jumping again. Uh, Master's Rex, well, we have all done, have, have one in the stash, Dan. Yeah, we've all got one kit that's unfortunately died of many deaths. Stuck in someone's loft in the back corner where it's been getting dumped for the whole of its life. We leave my kits alone. These people that stash hoards the kits. Yeah, what they like. Yeah. Terrible. Um, oh, by the way, Tim, Senpai pronounced. What is that noise? I don't know. It's senpai. It's senpai Japanese for teacher. My chosen in Egyptian. Huh. Oh, yeah. I thought it was Japanese for. Probably could do. Yeah. Uh, no, uh, Matt, Matt saying no discontinued and rarer than unicorn poop. Yeah. Um, the thermonuclear Bobbington. You keep changing your name, didn't you? Yeah. Good evening all. Who supplies UMP in South Africa? We do directly, and oh god, what's in the other shop? There's there is a stockist over there, but you can get them from us as well directly. I forget who the supplier is now. If Hannah's watching, Hannah can say. Yeah, I'm seeing. A, I haven't seen a comment in there. Uh, you should just say hello. Uh, he's in the chat. Uh, Matt Rex saying uh, museum collection do an alternative Bosch scheme go to Hobby Link Japan. There we go. Uh, yeah, and that's us all red. Yay! Well done, Tim. Okay. Yeah, Pegasus Hobbies, is that the one? That sounds right. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'll raid it. <laughs> anyway. Switch the camera. Oh. Yeah. Lost a bit. Oh. Camera on Rome. Rome. Yeah. <sighs> Dan, if you search for um, this Castro decals, I got them, but I can't remember the hell I got them from. Them. Might have been Japan as well. How can I lose a bit of plastic whilst just reading the chat? I don't know how to do that. <laughs> it probably got up and ran away in distress. <laughs> Address. Oh, Probably came spider up in a visit. Uh, hey. Hey. Damn spiders. It's the second quip that somebody's had at my expense tonight. <laughs> well, it's early yet. Yeah. Hot ball. <laughs> Give it a while. Yeah. I've got more chattering, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mini dreams. You, there's always the sale of buy one get one. Uh, I think you should check out for that it's one. Thirty percent off. There you go. The minute it washes. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can't spray those washes. Um. Yeah. Mike Brunton's asking, "What is a reasonable price? Reasonable price to sprue cutters? Well, don't uh, buy the ones Norm's box. Eight pounds up to 70, 80 quid. Twenty-five quid's a reasonable amount. Spend personally. Spend what you can with what you've got, and the Tamiya's are really good for for value for money. I think. Yeah. Just twist them off." Mm. Neil Cabrera, got it. Did anybody see that, um, like reciprocating cutting knife, hobby knife thing? Yeah, the cheap one with the, like a, a wire coming out the back of it and it Ultra goes drrr. ultrasonic. Yeah, gee whiz, yeah, it's gonna be crap because the real ones are about two, three hundred. Yeah, yeah. Was, was it Chris D. H. that had yeah. one with his resin yeah. in it? Yeah, yeah, it looks cool as hell. But it's a, I would say it's a lot of money for um, for it. But we for cutting resin, brilliant thing. Okay. 
Yeah, but I think you've got to buy the expensive ones, unfortunately. Welcome to the panic room. You can buy some cheap sprue cutters, but chances are, if you buy cheap, you're going to be buying twice. I bought the cheap ones, and they actually snapped on me. They took my eye out, and um, yeah, the teeth didn't last long either. And they don't, mm. they never cut that clean. Tried quite a few sets, and to me, the best ones I've tried are the Tammy ones. There were lots of different Tammy ones, though. Um, they do some cheap ones as well, but I think they're, they're four one two threes. I think, or one two four threes or something, oh, yeah. which are like mega fine. These ones. Well, there's mega fine ones, and I've got the other ones. Yeah, there's, there's two. Oh, there's, yeah, the mega fine there. um, yeah, I've had those there's... two years now, and they're still as good as they got. Yeah, I'm the same as you. I'm the same as yours. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're just they're very thin, so you can get really close into the. In fact, in fact, camera will focus. Let me switch my thing on. If my camera focuses on that, yeah, so you can see there, hopefully, that's really, oh no, it's not focusing, is it? Yeah. yeah. You can see how fine those blades are on the end. So when I cut, I can get like really close and it doesn't take a chunk out the side of the wheel. Um, <laughs> but the, um, the cheaper ones will because they've got big fat things on them. Jermaine, oh, yeah. evening, Jermaine, in the chat. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. it's slow. I haven't got a live chat on my phone. All right, keep one. Right, Ryan, quick, quick question Did you have a miscut then? <laughs> hey, Graham, hello. Did you have a miscut on your wheel? A miscut, yeah. No. Oh, look how it took the edge of the wheel off. That's that. Oh, I'm going to say. On, <laughs> oh, Jesus, I did it all. Yeah, what happened was you lined, <laughs> up, you lined it up perfectly. You must have looked at the camera and it skipped along a little bit. I did it all. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, no. it hit the side of the wheel off. And I was like, <laughs> just to prove that when you're not being a fool, it does work. <laughs> what a plonker. I'm going to put off to uh, fettle up now. Right. Did it, did it. Does that focus? There you yeah. go. Right. So if I watch what I'm doing instead of watching the camera, <laughs> so now I can nick that off and it's really nice and close and just got a tiny yeah. little nub to sand off. <laughs> and it doesn't take the edge of the wheel off. And I was like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. How are you doing? Oh, dear. Oh. <laughs> it's flat tire. <laughs> oh, what a, oh, my God. Yeah, it's a massive We're chunk. here for all the demos, by the way. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Um, you want screwing up? I was actually asking, how's the V2 build going? Uh, really good. Um, the only problem I've had is when I put the tractor together, because it comes essentially it comes in two halves, top and bottom, and you put the the seats and stuff inside the cab, and then drop the cab on top of the chassis, and I just could not get it to fit. So I've had to do a bit of trimming, and even now it's still not sitting flush. I've had it clamped down, so there's going to, have to be a bit of filler going in there. And then there'll be a shadow coat over that to hide it. But um, yeah, other than that, everything else has just fallen together really nicely. It's been lovely. Very small, very fiddly, but fun. Uh, model officers in there saying good evening, everyone. How is everybody? And David, plug your phone in. There you go. You sorted then. Yeah, plug your phone in. Not an issue in demand. Oops. <laughs> I just take the edge of the wheel off. What a plonker. <laughs> I can't believe I've done that. Anyway, well, I can because I'm an idiot. But... <laughs> what a loony. It's gutted, really. <laughs> oh, it's hidden. It's, uh, it'll be hidden. It? Well, oh, actually, no, it might not be. Well, it's flat on one side. You're all right. Uh, well, now we're going to say what you say. It's just surprisingly got a flat tyre. Uh, Dan, the only thing I would say, not you, Dan, in here, Dan, in the chat, is you might not have um, uh, got the right wheels with those. The Bosch one might have specific wheels because sometimes some of them do, but it might not have. 
And Fireman Food, uh, Tim, for you to read. <laughs> yeah. Fireman Food 1988. Oh, I don't know what that name's all about. Had to check you guys out. Looks like you're having a good time. Maybe check out my channel sometimes as we, as we, well, I do live. Yeah. You've got to love a bit of sub for sub, haven't you? Yeah. I wonder, I wonder the, what you do the... live, though. That's, that's the question. Yeah. I'm a bit worried about clicking on your link. Yeah. What you're doing live. Because I don't want to watch them sort of video. No. Mm. That sort of boy. Yeah. Yeah, pa pass it on down to Sam. I love it. Give me media to donkeys. Sam's your man. <laughs> That's John. <laughs> Gives each website a good thumbs up if he likes it. What? No, man. You are really cruel. So really David, David's out with his kids because they're getting a checkup. Then he's getting shots. Well, <laughs> that sounds wrong. That, 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 that day is going to go well. Going home drunk to your missus. She's going to shout at you again. Yeah, very loudly. <laughs> yeah. I'm slam a door very hard. Well, Feynman Food does modifying die cast. Ah. Oh, cool. Like the uh, like big like larger scale one eighteenth scale cars. Do you mean then? Wow, that's small. So are they like cartwheel size? I think yeah. it will be, yeah. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> David's quite right. He doesn't have to be drunk to be shouted at. He's got a good point. Oh, no, he's going to be hiding down in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guessing from the gist we got, we can do the washing or something. Yeah, and yeah. she she tore him a new one that morning. Oh. A woman's work's never done and all that. Yeah, that was brutal, that was. Damn. Yeah. Don't worry, David, you'll get those trousers back one day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> out the purse. Oh. Wasn't me. So we're making blue animals. Hmm. That's probably my chair. That's from Fireman Food. What's your real name? Five Man Food. You know what I keep saying that. Oh, I'm trying to sand off the inside of, of this tire, but my sander is only tiny, a tiny little bit too big. I wonder if there's a product out there that can make it easier for me. <laughs> uh, Scabble of Am, just look for Pegasus Hobbies. Google it. That, that thing called Google's great. Because oh, totally I'd, I'd, have to go, I'd have to go and search Google to find it. <laughs> give you a link when you just look on Google for it yourself. Yeah, just put it into Google and it'll find it for you. I don't know. Try and set him up. Missed opportunities. Yep. Yeah. Went straight over his head, didn't it, Sam? What did? I, did man. I feel your pain. I heard you whittling on about something. I wasn't listening. I said... <laughs> <clears throat> I'm trying to sand these little nubs off the inside of my tire, and my sander is only a tiny bit too big. I wonder if there's a product that could make my life a bit easier. Have you bought any? Oh, for <laughs> God's sake. Have <laughs> <laughs> you bought any? Is it um, yeah. Not yet. I haven't put an order in yet, have I? Is he, trying to, is he trying to be a bit of a sponge? No, oh. I'm trying to... No, that's your job, Tim. Oh, good point. Good point. Thank you, Dan. Nah. <laughs> <Yeah>. Anyway. <laughs> All you can do is try, can't you? Sometimes. These days, go and ask your pet spider to do it. Yeah. Totally natural. You're right, Tommy. It's totally natural conversation. <clears throat> Not you know, nothing. I think uh, we can talk about our cunt. Cun help. Really? Very new. Customizable sound. This is going to be a great night. Very comfortable. <laughs> That's super. What, what are they called, Tim? Specials. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Well navigated, Timothy. Oh, for those on the Tamiya page, my post just been approved for the live show now. 
Hey. Wow. Hello. An hour later. Hey. Oh, no, no, it's not a tenner. I never finished off saying it. I very nearly did. <laughs> it was a T away from being completed. <laughs> I managed to stop myself. <laughs> oh, dear. Isn't it nice when you can just manage to stop yourself? Yeah. I never usually do. <laughs> Go on, Graham, give us a song. No. <laughs> no. I wouldn't inflict that on these poor people. All right, then. They have done nothing to deserve such agony. Ah, oh, dear. Oh, the missus is watching the Kardashians. Oh, the what? Oh. That's nice of you. Oh. What's that? Yeah, what exactly? Uh, why? again the missus is watching the kardashians okay yeah. that's the one i don't know what that, don't know what that it, it, it's a tv show oh, you know that, oh, okay. that horrible hitter uh, that terrible english program you like watching brian geordie halls geordie shaw yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's it sort of along the lines of like completing some rubbish like that yeah you seriously watch that crap, G? I love Geordie Shaw. I've watched every single episode since it started. It's my little guilty pleasure. Have to about it. It, is, it is proper car crash TV, but <laughs> it's awesome. It needs to be in a car crash. Oh, sorry, that's a bit mean, but true. Let me take a drug. No, I do not watch Love Island. Jimmy does. I'm actually surprised there, to be honest. I can honestly say that I have never watched an episode of Love Island. I don't really know what it is. I assume it's a bit like Big Brother. You'd probably like it. I don't think I would. Yeah, you would. I like Geordie Shaw. Nah, Geordie Shaw's no, 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 no. Geordie, Geordie Shaw, I, no, because I tried, I tried to watch an episode of that Only Wears Chelsea once, and that was absolute tripe. Geordie Shaw's a bit different for me. Wears Chelsea. I'll be honest. My missus watches the Only Wears Chelsea. That's nothing to do, nothing like um, Geordie Shaw's. They've actually got some class in Chelsea. It's more acty though, isn't it? What Chelsea? Yeah. No, no, no. That's that's what they're like. That's what those people are like. Yeah, but it's more. It's much. The one I saw was much more staged and contrived than Geordie Shore is. Yeah, they don't just play them with loads of drink and then watch them. Yeah. Watch them, watch them. Just watch them. They're just, it's just like a bit voyeuristic, to be honest. Yeah. Sorry, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> you don't even have to hide behind a phone box and wear a Mac. <laughs> what do you do at the weekend? G is perfectly up to you, mate. <laughs> I had to change where I was going with that sentence quickly. Geordie mm -hmm. Shore is like Jersey, Jersey Shore, yeah, but it's with Geordies and not New Joyzies. 
<clears throat> yeah, that's quite a big chunk out of that room. <laughs> yeah, in 172, <laughs> yeah, that's a huge chunk. <laughs> you should watch that back. That was hilarious because as you said, as you said it, you did it. Oh, for yeah. God's sake. I it didn't take a chunk out of it. So we do out ticks. No, no, he just took took off at wheel away. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably when the tires on look oh, is it? <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> no, it won't hold air. Yeah. Oh, I'll put a bit That's of definitely goo a flat tire, that isn't it? <laughs> it's, it's... I'll put a bit of sprue goo around it. I'm mean, looking like doing a UMP demos. Yeah, no worries. <laughs> That's the entire kit ruined now, Jay. Been. Yeah, just throw it away, mate. Or a creaky door. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, it's Tim's door. <laughs> Is that what you're calling it these days, Tim? Yeah. Tim and his creaky door. A bit of sprue go to the rescue. Really? Thing is, though, that could set you back a week. Yeah, it's only a tiny bit. It's only very thin. It'll dry overnight. Well, dry enough to paint anyway. Dear farm on food. Every time I've weathered it, it'll be right anyway. Silly ass. I can't believe I did that. These <laughs> <laughs> things cut really well. No. You do cut really well. You just yeah. gotta watch what you cut in. <laughs> uh, you just proved though, G, that they are very, very sharp. <laughs> very sharp, yeah. <laughs> oh dear. It's like that old adage, isn't it? Measure twice, cut once. Yeah. Oh, I'll tell you what, I was going to, um, when a laminate floor put down in the lounge of the day, I was going to do it myself. I've done it before, so I kind of know what I'm doing, but I'm useless for, like, woodwork and that kind of thing. And uh, I'm so glad I got somebody to do it now. It was like, oh, man. We've got, like, a, a marble fireplace that goes across one corner of the room, and there's, like, a bit of floor behind it and a bit of floor in front of it across the angle, and the guy was like, this is – I've never seen out like this before. And he was – honestly, it took him ages. It took him absolutely ages. And then because he didn't want to put beading around the fireplace, he had to cut it flush, and he's literally cut it, so it's literally butted right up against the marble. It's amazing. But, yeah, I'm so glad I didn't try and do that myself. Son of a nutcracker. See, for me, flooring of any description, you might as if you're not that handy, leave it to a professional. Well, to be honest, mate, it's a fairly sized, probably a seven seven meter long lounge or something like that, and the guy only charged hundred and fifty quid to lay the floor. Bargain! Uh, it's not even worth the really attempting it myself. That's a bargain. It is. That's cheap. It is, and I, and then I've got a stair carpet laid as well, and the guy only charges fifty quid to lay a stair and landing. Step above the rest, isn't he? Yeah. Pretty <laughs> good anyway. Can somebody laughing? I got it. Oh, I, just, I, just, I was just, trying to hold in because it didn't really deserve it, but the 12 year old boy in me <laughs> kept pushing it out. <laughs> that didn't sound right either. Then. <laughs> didn't sound right, Dan. That didn't sound right, man. <laughs> Proper old points. Perfect. Who is echoing? Dan. Dan, the oh, man. Right. The connection is uh, getting a bit. Iffy. Right, we'll give it another. We'll leave it for quarter nine, and Dan, you can do your bit, mate. Yeah. Yeah, no worries. So, as it's a build night, the audience gets to pick a winner tonight. Yay! I'll be day. We actually asked Adam, "What are you building tonight?" Is that right, shot? Doing it? Excuse me, I don't care. 
<laughs> oh, yeah, good point. No, Adam, don't, don't tell us, but I want to. Where are you building, Adam? Surprise, surprise. What do you reckon I'm building? Skyline? Or? Actually, not a skyline. Oh, no. No, sorry. Oh. That's a skyline as much as it can be. 350Z, I think it is. Uh, that's, the, that's the weird one, isn't it? That's not even a that's not even a proper Z, is it? It's it's in the box art. It's not done it, Tim, so it's, it's definitely a Z. Yeah, it's a proper Z. Oh no, it's a Z, sorry, yeah, sorry. 350 Z where it's got a wide arch. No, it's 370, isn't it? Oh no, so it's 370 has that weird step. Any advance on 370? <laughs> yeah, so that's what I'm building. I've got, I've got, I've got a bit of a thing for those 350Zs. I really quite like them. I do as well. Yeah. It's got a bit of a rubbish engine, though. It's not bad. It's got good good power out of them. It's, three, it's a 3 litre uh, V6. It's good yeah. better than a Volvo, just saying. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you got that back here. I got it back, yeah. Yeah, 500 quid it cost me. Oh. But it I could have cost a lot more. Did, did they have... Uh, what, what's gone wrong with it then? It was just the alternator. Oh. So it just literally just die and you run out of power quite quick, quickly, I have to imagine, in that car. Yeah, yeah like we got it. Like we drove it to a garage in France. And then we out basically outside the garage, and then the garage was like, oh, "No, I can't fix it, mate." So we had a European cover; it got towed uh, somewhere, and we got the Eurostar back from Paris. Hang on, um, hang on, back up a bit. This garage yeah. that you, this garage that you went to. That's a good point. That's a good point. This. Go on, this gar hang on, whoa, 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 sure up, Tim. This garage that you went to <laughs> did not fix a car. Well. Not at four o'clock on a Saturday afternoon, no. Wow, that's not a, that's not a proper mechanic, then. Well, no, it was French, and he, I don't think I was he liked say, me. Couldn't you just tie some stockings around it for you, or a bungee cord? <laughs> or anyway, you could coke on the air or something. <laughs> <laughs> that was no trick. <laughs> but the cab from where we were to Paris was five hundred euros, <laughs> and the Euro start. Back to hit more well, back to London was four hundred quid. I bet that cabbie was rubbing his hands. Yeah, but we didn't have to pay it. It was already yeah. paid for. Yeah. So it was quite quite handy. Yeah, so that's my advice to the day: is if you drive in France, make sure you got cover. Oh hell yeah! Just think though, at least you've been chauffeur driven in a foreign country. That's very true. Did you have to sit in the front with him though? Yeah. Did you hold and I, had to, I had to translate into French. Uh, have you been hold, busy? Hold his knee. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ask him what time he finished that? No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> been, a, been a long. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Did he have a bead? At, no. Smell of onions. Sorry. Oh dear. I walked away from that one twice, Tim, and you just jumped in. Did you oh, give him a tip? Um, no, no. He, gave, he gave him a tip, all right. <laughs> don't come to England. <laughs> Just a tip. <laughs> oh, shish kebabs. Wait a minute. Come on, Vamps. Uh, fiance, fiance got a 72 charger that needs some work in hers. <laughs> Be careful, Tim. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's not asking for trouble much, is it? Yeah. Danger zone. Right, danger zone. Uh, uh, David <laughs> Coates got a duster and he got seven, had, it's got 72 in it. New number. Oh, Tim, you working on anything nice this week? Nice this week? Oh, uh, what have I? What have I? What am this week? Oh, no, a couple of Porsches. Finished off that charger at the start of the week, so that's oh, gone. Yeah. Right. So they're happy. But hopefully, the customer's happy. Did a nice old Volkswagen camper van. 
Put some new, put a new speakers and amp in that. That sounded really quite nice. Just can't be Porsche. Oh yeah, son of a. Thingy. A beep beep. What's the nicest car you've worked on, Tim? Oh. It's hard to decipher what's nice, though, isn't it? Because if, if, if you don't say if you don't say Ford Fiesta is lying. Yeah, I was just going to say that. What was your favourite, Tim? What was your favourite? A black VW Passat. Favourite so far. I actually uh, that Charger was really nice. Working on the little pagodas, putting the uh, electronic fold down double din in them is quite good fun. The what? Um, Get oh, the stereo work, thing. Yeah. Going out to work on the um, the Pan and Porsche Carreras, and then getting to work on the um, Ferrari uh, the Ferrari Two Hundred and Fifty Spider. Oh, lovely! That's, that'll probably be go down as yeah. the, most, the most expensive car I've ever worked on. Yeah, no, nice. Then they took you to a proper garage after Tim broke it. <laughs> No <laughs> break in that one, my gosh. If anybody was uh, looking to buy some dog food, sorry, but the pet shop's closed. Wayne's in the chat. Oh, no. Hey, Wayne. Is, are they having a special on chinchillas? <laughs> uh, it's, it's going one of them. It's no, it wasn't a 250 GT, it was a 250 Spider. So it's the 250 oh. style body, but convertible. Very nice. Worst, worst car to work on, Ferraris. Old, Just no room. Old, old Ferrari. Actually, no. Actually, that's telling a lie. The worst cars to work on are Lotus. Right. They are awful. Lots of trouble, usually serious. Oh, mate. So you'll you'll get it, especially the old Elates. Oh, they are. Oh. Just, they I are these. The, I know the old Esprit. Oh, the, the electrics in it. So you're like. They're like, say to the customers, is all the electrics working? They're like, yeah, they're all happy and smiling. Look at them going, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so I finished with it. You touch a switch, you touch the back of the switches, they break. <laughs> it's, 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 it's all Ford, it's, Ford switch gear, isn't it? In those, um, Lotus, don't think so. No, yeah, Lotus, Aston Ford, bit, bit of Voxel, old Voxel, all oh, right, okay. How the wiring and it's how it's done, it's just. Oh, they are horrible cars to work on. Ferraris ain't too good either. They're just Fiat's underneath. I always fancied one of the old Essex Lotus uh, Esprits. The Esprit? Yeah. Do you know what? Yep. To drive, they're probably really nice working on them. Oh. I always fancied one of those. They're not, they're not, they're not great. They're not great. This baby corner's like it's on rails. For, yeah, Ferrari, Ferrari seem to decide that they want to use every type of screw that they could ever possibly <laughs> get hold of on one door. So you have four, four, three different types of bolts, four different types of screws, different lengths, different heads, different everything, and you just want to smash <laughs> the man that made it in the face. Why? <laughs> 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 I don't need this many bolts. I'll oh, turn it on. <laughs> uh, when you put it back together, is there a lot left over in a week, Tom? There's always some spares left over. Tim, we've got a massive spare bin at work. Oh, man, I don't like Ferrari it. bolts and screws. Uh, yeah, I'm, you, you take a whole car apart and then put it all back together, you end up with one screw left over. As long as there's no squeak, so you it's like when people, it bits of rattling, you have to take it all back apart. <laughs> And then fill it with super glue. <laughs> Silence. Super glue's never used on anything. Oh, do you still Do-do-do. use the uh, uh, insulation tape? Oh, the Seco Flex. Uh, we use, we we don't use this the plastic stuff anymore. We use the cloth tape. Ah, nice. Are you talking Russian? Yeah, I'm a little... Like hamsters again, is it? Probably. Just realise he's in Sharpie. Please. Yeah, he's delayed at work. Yeah. So, uh, I was about to say, Porsche's is Volkswagen. Not really anymore. Porsche, Porsche's are very much Porsche now. They don't have virtually anything to do with VW anymore. You got to use Volkswagen. 
that's pretty much 100 percent lambos is our volkswagen yeah thank god now they now they work they're, they're not they're not uh tractors anymore lambos are now volkswagens the, the new the new uh audi urus is just a q7 with a new body but well, it's damn fast L lambo urus i mean yeah, I was I was in a Lambo three weeks ago. Oh yeah, yeah, it was a Lamborghini tractor. Oh, oh lush. That's it. I've never actually seen their tra their tractors at all. Yeah, their cousin has a couple of them. Very nice. Are they are they actually quite nice? Comfortable as hell, man. Oh, I bet they are. I'd never get into a real Lamborghini with a crowbar and a big door of Aswin. Yeah, there are. <laughs> you no, know, I was having a get in and out of the other day. Was actually was the one of those BMW i8s. Ooh. They've got rear seats in them. <laughs> I tell you, I feel sorry for any children that have to sit in one of the back of one of them. <laughs> it's just horrible. Oh, so oh, it's horrible. If it's, it's like my boss said, they've, they've put two seats in the back so they can say it's a four seater. Just why? Why anyone would? would force their children to sit in the back of one of them things it used to be a thing didn't it lots of cars were uh, marked as a two plus two. Oh, yeah but yeah two two small chihuahuas maybe but yeah. not two Ast kids Aston Martins for five months for that two plus two two four seat up they are not seats two people plus two shopping bags yeah P Porsche is the same it's two seats yet fold down into a big parcel shelf <laughs> <laughs> Just, yeah yes count 24 hours be fine Make sure you cover it properly. I get plenty of glass on. Oh, that sounds nice. Nineteen seventy-three Ford Falcon. Oh, that sounds good. How long would you leave between applying it? Just answer. Yeah. Just answer, Tim. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, those are stops. Sorry, I was. Oh, yeah. I'll wait. Yeah. I ate. The I8 is horrible long before it's time with bad engineering and a shitty skin. Yeah, I'm not a fuss on them at all. Apparently their uh, fuel economy is absolutely atrocious as well. Uh, however, meant they're meant to be. It's hybrid and it's got a petrol yeah. engine that go very far. It's not very my, um My mate's got one of those, um, uh, what they call the Mitsubishi 4x4 thing, the Outlander. I was like, yeah, my my father has got one of those. Um, and it, it took me out, and, and he was like panicking because he was almost out of fuel. Apparently, it's only got a twenty litre tank on it or something. Yeah, that's right. And uh, and it, when it is running on petrol, it does like twenty miles a gallon. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. He was like, and I said, really? It just didn't sound like that. It was any purpose to it at all, really. Maybe just wasn't explaining it very well, but it didn't sound like it was worth having one. Well, it's not that bad. Uh, if you drive mixed driving with electric and gas, uh, it still gets the same MPG as my SUV does. Right. Which is pure diesel. So, uh, if you if you do sh only do short distances, you can drive electric for short distances and mm -hmm. recharge. Dan, you ready? Yep. Yeah. Born ready. Well. Right. Aye. So we're going to go to Dan. He's going to go your work on the Facebook page in the forum. And then, uh, you guys and girls in the chat are going to pick our winner tonight. So make sure you make a note of who you want to win. And then we'll give you five minutes at the end to vote. And uh, the model with the most votes wins. It's simple as that. Uh, whatever Russian dude, if you keep speaking in Russian, man, we're gonna have to block you because no one's got a clue what you're going on about. I'm pretty sure it's the same geezer we had the other week. So, if you can speak in English, fine. If not, if you post again, block him because it's, it's, you know, it's just yeah, no, worries. no idea what it is, right? I'm gonna hand you over to Dan <coughs> and then Levitan. Away you go, mate. One and only Dan. Hmm, yeah, this can only be one of me, anyway. Evening, chaps and chapesses. Uh, we're going to start with the forum as always. Uh, folks need to post a bit more on forum as well. It's dead easy. Flickr's a doddle to use. Just remember, really? logging in details to Flickr. That's all you need. Yeah. Flickr? 
So, so many jokes, but we're going to move away from that one. <laughs> you cute. Uh, and we're going to start tonight with making models, Mr. Carl. Oh, and this is oh, AMT oh, yeah. Pod Racer. Uh, he's moving out in under two weeks, so much, <clears throat> much time for the bench or hangouts. Uh, a few moments, his ad has finally managed to finish the Pod Racer. Mostly painted with Tamiya colours and uh, a little Kit Kat action on the engines. Mm -hmm. uh, the base was, ra was rather boring, so he's added a little scenery. Uh, it's a nice kit to put together. Uh, after he stripped it all down and removed the paint from the owner's original attempts to build it. Uh, 17, 18 years ago. God, that makes me really old. Wow, really? Uh, yeah. Oh. Uh, and he says, thanks for taking a look, and he hopes we like it. Definitely do. Brilliant. Nice. Love it. Very nice. Yeah, that looks really good, that. The Kraken better work, God. I like it. Uh, this is Nova Russ, Mr. James Skiffins next. Oh. And it's, well, Matthew, this week, he wanted to fit the windows to Ye Olde Church. Uh, it's made by himself using acetate and images from the Tinterweb and Works Printer. <laughs> Uh, I hope we left him a pound on side. Uh, the background is a mock up of what's to come in the next stage. Uh, Carl is a whiz, don't you know? Uh, thanks for your support from all of you, and of course, Graham for his weekly shout outs. Uh, and he says the link to the build series on the YouTube channel ha happens to be in the signature on the forum. Just saying, Jay. And definitely go and click that link. Uh, check out Model Officer on YouTube. Latest edition has just been put up last night, and you can see how, exactly how he made those stained glass windows, and it's very, very impressive. I've got to say, that's that's probably his best diorama to date, I'm going to say. Yeah. Again? Don't think it was rubbish yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I know his last... I know that... I know that last one he did were really, really good, but this one's just like on another level. It's mm. just... It's just, yeah. Without uh, any spoilers, he bought some proper stained glass. Oh, he ruined it now. Scale. Yeah. Um, and the, the, I think he didn't get enough. And they were really garish. I mean, good quality, but they were really garish. So he decided not to use them. And he's made his own, literally. Mm. Uh, they're, oh, it's God, they're incredible. That's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Brilliant vision, hasn't he, to think of all that? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that's really a... nice. It's all in his beard, must be. Yeah. Skills, man. Uh, and this is F27 Packs next. Uh, and it says, after those two magnificus, mag <laughs> magnificent examples of modeling skills, I'm almost embarrassed to present this little model. Uh, a modest achievement in comparison. It's uh, the Airfix 1144 Boeing 737 200, uh, decked out in the colors of Laro Spottle. Spottle, Spottle, is I don't know. I don't know that. Uh, the white is Tamiya TS26. The leading edges are Tamiya TS83, both decanted, of course. The grey on the wings is Boeing Grey, concocted uh, for him by his local automotive paint shop, uh, based on extra colour Boeing Grey. Uh, and the Paragard panels uh, come from his last tin of extra colour. Uh, Coral Guard, which is no longer being imported into Australia and which Hanantz can no longer send him. A real bugger, apparently. Uh, the window and door decals are from Draw Decals. Uh, the airline decals are by Flight Path, uh, but they tend to go off like 100 kilogram fragmentation bomb. Mm. Uh, I made him go grey before his time, and he also stole some decals uh, from an old, mo old models. 737 200 decal sheet, and we'll have to buy another one so he can complete his next 737. Excellent. Nice one. Can I, can I just point out as well that this is, I'm not saying it's not, uh, but this would be for work that you completed this week, not anything previously completed. Hmm. Uh, I'm not saying this wasn't, I'm just, just clarifying. Because yeah. unless he's a prolific modeler like me, it's the third one in three weeks. Yeah, and that's fine. You know, if it is, that's fine. But just to keep it fair, it's it's what you've been working on this week. Just to clarify for everyone, yes, yeah. I'll be the nasty man and say, <laughs> yeah. well, 
Uh, and this is uh, yeah. Kempi84, and this is very first post. Uh, it says, Evening Crew, this is his first ISM post. Uh, he's just mm -hmm. finished the 1990s iconic Lamborghini Diablo VT by Ravel in 124. Uh, it's primarily a new MP white primer painted in Lamborghini Rosso orange. I'm not even going to. Uh, uh, Rosso Arancia? I can't quite read Aran it. Arancia. Friends in there. Russell Orange from Zero Paints and then clear coat with Zero Paints 2K diamond finish. Uh, the interior and other parts were painted with Tamir acrylics. Wheels and engines were painted with Alcloud Metal paint. Uh, is that to sand and polish it to get some uh, damn dust? Bit dust. Big dust. Uh, overall happy uh, with the finish of this very cheap kit, which you really enjoyed putting together. Uh, yeah. I was looking at it on Facebook earlier, but it's really nice. Yeah, yeah. that's the first ever post on the forum. Yep, very first one. Yep. Very nice work. Very nice. I've seen it briefly on Facebook. I yeah, really, I've seen it earlier on Facebook. I haven't paid nice. no attention to Facebook, really. I've been too busy. Oh, Mr. One Mac next, Mr. Alan McNeish. Uh, and he says, this may be amongst the longest running builds in the history of ISM Friday Night Live. It's a one seven second Marks and Spencer's rebox of the Revell Lancaster Mark 1 slash 3. See what I did there, Dan? Good lad, Al. Good lad. Uh, anyway, I did some faffing about with the MP washers, mixing some and using other straight. Uh, wasn't worried so much about the camo, uh, but black proved pretty naff to weather, so next stage was weathering with oils. Uh, wow, just the effect he wanted. Uh, his brother in law, who captained the BB uh, MF Lank in the 90s, uh, cautioned me that the exhaust stains coated the upper wings except for the outer exhausts, and that was uh, not under any circumstances to weather the outers. Uh, so, is the current state pretty much done with just a fiddly bits to add? Uh, <laughs> Would we see a finished model next week? Mm. <laughs> Thanks for looking. Nice I think he's done a belting job with that. Very nice. Yeah, I've got the cleaner. I'm going to say his uh, composition on his photo is pretty good as well. Mm -hmm. Professional photographer. I was just about to say, but he should he should have decent photos, shouldn't he? Ooh. Ooh. My wife just brought me a cup of tea. He's a man. Yeah, I like that, Al. It looks good, mate. Oh, right, Al. I like this one as well. Some strange what? fella called Paul. Who? Paul. Oh. Who? Mr. Bertland. <laughs> That's Alan. 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 <laughs> yeah. uh, and this is his Tamiya 124 Sierra RS. Oh, nearly drowned on my tea. 500 Tim Harvey edition. Yeah. Uh, he's primed it in Ultimate Modeling Products White Primer, painted in Zero Paints Labatt's Blue. Uh, SK Decals Labatt's Decal Scheme. Uh, clear coated in Pro Range 2K. Uh, ultimate modeling products apex airbrush used for everything uh, fabric belts were added to the interior and given a novus polish and then a tamia wax Stunning, that does look awesome i've got to say but it's one of it's one of my favorite racing cars in olden days good looking mm -hmm. the real one. love it that's beautiful, man. So did that deck all, it, on the original car uh, across the windscreen go like that as well did it mm -hmm. weird was that quite tricky to get it to sit down? Quite easy, actually, man, to be yeah. honest. Oh. Those SKD cars are phenomenal. Oh, good. That's good. It's like a cross between a decal and vinyl. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's really? You've used them, haven't you? You know what I mean, don't you? Yeah. You can stretch them, can't you? Everything, they're really weird, aren't they? They're amazing. Because mm. the, the white looks very strong. doesn't look like it's got a bit of paint. Sometimes they're not the strong. Yeah, I'm going to say, well, I've had a few white ones where they've been... No chance. Strange. Yeah, yeah, they're some of the best decals I've used. And that's quite. A, that's a real dark colour to put white on. So mm. yeah, top yeah, I can't recommend those decals enough. They're fantastic. Yeah, very nice. Awesome. awesome. And the cheapest chips. Twelve quid posted from Hong Kong. That's a bargain. Uh, and this is uh, Black Seventy Three Cat. Uh, mm -hmm. This is Takum uh, V Two <laughs> and. <laughs> I knew you'd <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is his Takum V2 and Hannah Mag. Uh, Sub-assembly is all complete apart from the wheels, which is butchered. 
No issues with the kit at all until he butchered a wheel. Uh, <laughs> going top and bottom of the tractor together. <laughs> It needs some trimming to make it fit, and it's all ready for it. <clears throat> um, how, how much trimming do you need? Timer. You can go there. Who's got a squeaky door? It's jumping. Looking good, G. Sharpie. Thanks. Yeah, it's coming on good. I'll fix that wheel now, but it's brew goo, so. You could open in the morning early, G. You'll be all right. <laughs> I like this next oh, one as well. Out. That Andreas. Uh, this is Andreas, some weird, some weird Norwegian fella. Brilliant. That looks uh, brilliant. And this is his Kinetic Mirage 2000D. It's all done. Uh, the kit was okay, but needed a few bits of aftermarket. Uh, wheels, engine, and the refueling plug got upgraded with resin and metal bits. Edward P in the cockpit. Uh, the ordnance need a bit of sculpting to look convincing. Uh, by checking references, he found that there are a few mistakes in the instructions, but it was easily sorted by swapping around bits on the dorsal. That looks brilliant, man. I That's do brilliant. like that. That looks really good, Andreas. Yeah, it's an iconic shape. Yeah, beautiful. Uh, isn't it? You especially like the D, yeah? <laughs> the D, yeah, I love the D. <laughs> <laughs> he loves D. I love D's. Just D's or double D's? Move oh. on. Uh, and this is another new poster tonight. Ooh. Uh, it's the mullet. Mm, cool. All right. Very first. We've got some crazy feedback happening again. It's you. Yeah. you, you Dan. Is you it Dan? Dan? Who is you? Your crazy feedback. That's it funny. sounds like somebody on a walkie-talkie in the 1980s. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> That's not. Uh, anyway, let's get back to the mullet. That sounds wrong, but this is the mullet. And he says, hi, guys. Thanks for the ad and his new airbrush. He won the airbrush off us. Ah, all right. Oh, nice. uh, and this is his take one. on the Camille Pans 2 Aust F. Uh, when he got this model, he found reference photos of one burned out, and he'd never tried that type of build before, so I thought I'd give it a try. Uh, for the tank, he primed the model in UMP white primer, then applied a base color of burnt umber to the model. Uh, he's then used uh, the AK range of rust effects to build up the different layers of rust and burnt looks. Uh, to finish the model, he used uh, the hairspray technique uh, with the main color of German gray by Tamir, uh, brushing off most of the color to give him the peeling effect of the paint from the fire. And uh, then use Humboldt's weathering powders to add an ash effect to the commander hatch and the engine bay. Uh, he built the diorama base using plaster of Paris and then used some molds that he had to create the broken walls and paints. He used was the AK range of rust effects with Humboldt's weathering powders to achieve an ash effect. And he hopes uh, we like it. Thanks, Ricky. That's yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Really like that, mate. Really, really good. I like that. Yeah, it looks. Yeah, good. Are you on the right browser? Yeah. Yes. Okay, let's make sure we can do. Yeah. I still think it is Tim. It's always Tim. Oh, Mr. Norman D. Oh, three. Oh, three's got back in the box. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it says, mixed bag this week. Preparation work continues on the 116th Tacom Type 94, ready for primer. Uh, 135th Dragon uh, BDRM2, ready for primer. Uh, 135th uh, Trumpeter PLA ZBD86D, finishing work, ready to go, go to primer with the other two after the baddest spell in the box. <laughs> 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 uh, you might also notice that he bought a new cutting mat. Yeah, uh, I've got oh. a new mat. yeah. Look at the brown, Dan. It's a home world mat. <laughs> oh, 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 oh! Mister Challenger, that noise ain't Dan. That's somebody else. Tim, I was going to say that can't be me. It it's, 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 it's the noise you usually make. That's <laughs> <laughs> no, gone. Yes, yeah, I'm telling you, I told you it was Tim. Oh, hey, refresh. It was Timothy. 
this is Mr. Adam Challenger next. Oh, I just need to check out, am I still bald? <laughs> <laughs> That's nice, Adam. Really good. Um, yeah. And this is, is to me a 124th Calsonic GTR finished. Uh, is used uh, the Tamiya detail set and added fabric belts, uh, UMP white primer, zero paints, calcionic blue, Mipa clear coat, amazing kit, highly recommended if you can find one. Uh, onto the next calcionic, four down, five more to go. Oh, I like his picture as well. So, so, so Adam, have you got all of the calcionic kits then? Apart from the latest Hasegawa R31. Oh, cool! Yeah, yeah. So just waiting for that one to be released. Yeah. Yeah. Hang on, let me I'll, just check I'll, Adam's wheel, see if they're round. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I bet you're hoping that they do the uh, Skyline One Twelve Skyline Calsonic then. A million percent. Yeah, that'll be bought in a heartbeat. Yeah. That's stunning, mate. Well done. Thanks, guys. Yeah, I like that a lot. Yeah, that looks good. Gorgeous wheels. Uh, this is Mr. Bobby oh, Calander yeah. next. That's nice. Uh, and he's That's finished nice. his Revell 1 144th B2 Spirit for the Bomber Sig this week. That's uh, nice. Painted with a mix of uh, yeah, Gunzi H305 and Tamiya XF24 Dark Grey. Uh, he's made his own paint mask using Silhouette Portrait and replaced the kit decals <laughs> with uh, Bergamot aftermarket decals. I quite like that. That's that, tiny, well, that is not a great yeah. kit to start with, and he's done a really good really job. Nice. That is so cool. That's really nice. Yeah, it to say like it's he, really um, small as well. Mm. Looks like he may have used Paul's trick with a concrete wash on his panel lines as well. Oh, definitely has. Looks really nice. Yeah. Really, really good. Nice work. No, no. You well, mean those little white, those white bits? The white oh. lines, the panel lines. That, well, that, that's walkways. That's painted. Yeah. That, yeah. That's Who walkways. is it? Yeah, that's not panel lines. Oh, my word. Yeah, yeah that's, mm. that's what he painted. All that is all the layout of where you can and can't walk on the plane to go. And do I like his base as well. Yeah, I've got to say that's. Oh wow, man, that's lush. Because it's all raised. I'm pretty sure that's all raised detail. That he's actually, right, and that's Sandel, all of the old uh, junk off. Oh my word! Mm. I was man, like, I'm not picking a winner this week. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm right. That's, I'm glad North Sam. That is a beautiful little build, Tommy. Really well, nice. Done, that's awesome. Yeah, really good that one. I like that one. Oh, Tim Plastic. <laughs> Again, yeah. a non-productive week, but hey, it's not as bad as uh, this person's week. Uh, wheel not holding pressure. Should check the valve. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> what? Check that it's actually still in the wheel. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. We don't know what they hit, but I tell you, whatever it was, my gosh, must that have been some noise? I was going to say, weren't there another size hole that size in the tire though? There was no. There was a massive gash. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> <laughs> did you ever find out why it wouldn't hold air Tim? Yeah, they're just only just I, I i tried putting some sealing on it but yeah it's it, gash in the sidewall but it wasn't in line with that so they must have hit a rock in the road i'm gonna say are you sure they didn't have a puncture beforehand and then that happened after um we, we aren't sure we haven't found out yet actually what happened but the the wheel all the wheel suspension's broken because the wheel was back up in the arch. What what car does it belong to? Range Rover. Oh, very expensive. Ooh, wow. Well, yeah. lucky enough, that's all being done on insurance. And that was done in France as well. So, yeah. absolutely cool. hang on, hang on. Top, top tip, people. Rent a car to go to France. Yeah, don't, don't, don't. <laughs> don't <laughs> you know what happened? Don't, don't, don't go. Don't go. Or just don't go. Yeah. yeah. What, what's that, Sam? They hit Adam Zoltan later. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that actually looks like some grain of crop of sprue. Ah. <laughs> I'm not gonna live that one down, am I? That was bad. Oh. <laughs> Maybe you're reminded at all, Graham. Don't worry. And then, <laughs> then, then it's just a moody picture of this one here. Oh, moody. See those two loops under his chin? I thought that was a turkey neck. No, know. that's his tie, and it won't be orange, it will be green at some point. Ah. Oh. Reminded me of something else, but we're not going to end there. <laughs> oh. uh, and this is Alex BB. Uh, he says, productive wheat models are in there somewhere, still packing, ready for the big move. Roll on the new man cave. 
Cool. Yeah, I've just got thing. some. I've just got some Cajun fries from Five Guys. Oh, oh what you want game for? Well, I changed your mind. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I changed your mind. Well, that's it for the forum this week. I'm afraid. I'm gonna get some melon from here, probably. Oh. We'll slide straight into face ache. Oh. These fries are gonna be. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is Mr. David Everton. Uh, and he's finishing the wear and tear on his Italieri Hurricane Mark 1 in 148th scale. Uh, no aftermarket used and using pastels for the weather in progress. Uh, it takes a while to build the layers, uh, but it gets a nice finish. Mm. Mm. That looks bigger than 148, doesn't it? It does. Mm. Or whatever it's stationed on. What's that kit like? Because the only other Hurricane's a fly, isn't it? What, 48? Well, yeah, it's it's Korean. Korean. How's it going? There's a few doing them in 48. Yeah. Cracking one. Nice weather in that. Okay. I like this next one really a lot. Oh, yes. Oh, uh, this is oh. Mr. Richie Lamb. Uh, and he's calling it done. And this is his West 6 UH5 by Italieri in yeah. 148. Uh, he's private in UMP black, painted in Tamiya and Vallejo acrylics, weathered with UMP light dirt. He's built it out of the box except for the cable antennas along the side of the fuselage. He used a wire from sandwich bag tie. It represents an aircraft from 84 Squadron in Cyprus. And have a good show, guys. Very yeah. That looks gorgeous. That looks belt in. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely stunning. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm mad about the Wessex anyway, but yeah, that's lovely. Yeah, that's a, I like an helicopter though. Uh, it's got the weathering right just right. Yeah, yeah. I was just about to say that very same yeah. thing. He's got it bang on. Yeah. yeah. It's nicely faded. It's all, yeah, lovely, man. Yeah. Oh. There's a few good ones this week, I'm afraid, people. Uh, Mr. Ooh. Stu Taper next. Ooh. It's Disco Stu. Uh, and there's further progress on his Cybrody early production tiger uh it's a michael whitman 13th panzer regiment operation zitadel in july 1943 uh, he built the figures to go alongside the tiger uh, on his proposed vignette uh at the battle of kursk uh uh they the old 1994 issue of the tamir machine gun crew on maneuver set uh, it took him the best part of yesterday afternoon and early evening to build. Uh, next stage is for the Tiger and the figures to add filler where needed and get them into primer and paint and have a good weekend and happy modelling. Looking good, mate. Yeah. Nice. Mm, very nice. Very good. Then, does he know his soldiers have stood in something? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what are we going for? <laughs> Oh, I like this next one as well. Oh, oh look at that. Uh, this is Mr. Stephen Potter next. Uh, this week is finished is Hasgawi uh, RS250 RW. Uh, he's gloss coated it using zero paint diamond finish two pack and a fine polish using Novus number two. That's lush. Yeah. Yeah. We. You're a wizard, Stephen. Hmm. Mm, I like. Nice. I like. I like. Uh, this is Mr. Anthony Mitchell next, and this is Ford Mustang GT. He's painted it in Badger Silver Primer and Candy Deep Apple Red. Uh, this kit is a two ninety nine. Uh, went together really well, and he's got two more kits. <laughs> okay. Lovely color. That's a stunning color. It nice. is a nice color. That I like his product mm -hmm. placement doing background. Yeah. yeah, good skills. Just saying. Oh, something different from Mr. Gaff Painter this week. Ooh. Uh, he's put, after his last build, he's decided to tackle something for him completely different. It's Hobby Boss's 135th Soviet BA-20 armoured car. Uh, it's a 1937. It's, he's really enjoyed making something out of his comfort zone. Built a car, a proper car. Or a bike. No, I like the look of that. That's good. Yeah, I like to see you get on with that guy because I'm tempted with that kit myself. Yep, me too. Mm -hmm. Good lot of shapes. What you ain't already got one of them, Norm? No, I've mate. It's, you know. Yes. Wow, I'm shocked. 
Now, uh, what, now, what car is it actually based? Is it actually based on a normal car under it? I'm not sure, mate. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Was what, what? I wonder what car it's actually based on. Because I love it. It's the the it'll be a Lada. It's Soviet. <sighs> <laughs> there was something. It it might have been an old Ford. An old old, old Ford. Maybe mm. a Moscovich or something stupid. Mm, maybe. Mm, not sure. Especially 19, mind you, 1937, Moscoviches were a bit later than that, weren't they? Mm. I say, 37, 37 was when Fords were around that era, but I don't, I don't know whether they would have taken anything for the, those days. I, I, want to be the, I want to like to be the one to push it, though, when it broke down. <laughs> <laughs> Back in a rut, you're staying there. Yeah. Just blow it up. I'll burn it out. I like this one next as well. Uh, Mr. Richard Paddock. Uh, and he's continued working on his Kitty Hawk 135th AH 6J Little Bird. Uh, although rewarding, uh, this is a challenging kit for me anyway. Uh, mm. Numbering errors uh, on the sprue dubious fits. Uh, the canopy not pictured was a nightmare. Uh, all a learning process though. And like he said, he's enjoying it and can't wait to show. Pardon me. Show us the end result. Hope to like it so far. Have a good weekend all. It's painted uh, in Tammy flat black uh, and various Tamiya's for the cockpit instrument and used Tamiya weathering master sand for the dust effect. Very nice. Very nice. I quite like that. That looks Very good. Nice. Yeah, it's going to look really good. And it's tiny, really. This is Mr. Dave Watts next. Mm -hmm. And Evolution of Armour. I uh, started a week ago. It's the uh, Emo 135th Mark IV female and Trumpeter Challenger. Uh, not the best of kits. Uh, and ICM 135th German Infantry Weapons. Uh, scratch built trench using coffee stirrers and dowel. All the water, wooden products are available. Uh, Vallejo textured earth and sand for the groundworks. Uh, microfiber for dust cloud on the Challenger. UMP sand wash on the Challenger, sandbags and barbed wire uh, to add, but basically finished. Uh, this is first of three builds for Telford, and excuse the messy bench. I think that's brilliant. I love yeah, the idea of that. Really, yeah. Yeah. yeah, very nice. Quite looking forward to seeing them at Telford now. Definitely. Yeah, that, that Gaz armored car was actually based on the Gaz M1 civilian car. Oh, okay, cool. Really good, that Dave. Really and, nice. um, and just for your information, that bench in Messi. Message John Sharp, he'll show you Messi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is Mr. Alex Hillman next. Uh, and he's already posted in the general Facebook page, but this is uh, what he's been working on. Uh, so one more pick. It's a Tamiya 135th Spitfire Mark. Oh. It's a Spitfire cockpit. <laughs> and it's out of the box with the exception of color choices. Uh, UMP Black Primer and various to me and Mr. Hobby paints uh, and washes to try and make it look lightly weathered and pretty. Looks nice. Nice work. Nice. I like it. Very clean. Uh, and this is Mr. Radim Effenberger. Uh, and if someone needs uh, some plumber's work, just PM him. Uh, it's, this is 132nd Revell ME 262B1 slash U1. Uh, he's decided to add lots of pipes to make it as detailed as he possibly can with the reference photos and his arsenal of wires, uh, threads, and patience. He's probably at 12 hours mark now. Uh, colors are on with Tamiya so far. I missed the surface of 1500, 1500 as primer. Uh, and this is the right side engine because it's lacking hydraulic pump. Uh, sadly, both engines in the kit don't have one. Hmm. I've got that kit. Um, yeah, I kind of want to hold off until I'm brave enough to try something like that with it. Yeah, just just sneeze some wire on it, dude. Because mm -hmm. that's essentially what it looks like when, when you actually see one up close. It just looks like somebody just fired a wire cannon at it. That's gorgeous, mate. That is. That's lovely. Yeah, yeah. It's still unusual. This is Mr. Charles Stellini. And he just finished this Hobby Boss 135th M35 uh, Panzerwagen. It's a 
some or other <laughs> and it's primed in ump gray and painted with vallejo field gray a little dry brushing and he's used vallejo pigments to dirty it up uh and he's sealed with matte clear from vallejo very nice really nice He's got some nice effects there, actually. I quite like that. Thing is, look cool. And it looks nice in the background. <laughs> and it looks different. It's not a tank. It's not a car. And it's, do you know what I mean? It's just, I quite like that. Imagine the back. Right at the back. Say again, Sam. You see, right at the back of that, Dan. The last wheel. <laughs> is that a double wheel on each side or what? Or. Yeah, it's got yeah, it's got uh, four wheels on each side, I think. Yeah, it's a push me pull you. You can reverse yourself in it. Oh. Ah, so it's got a driver at both ends. Yeah, you can drive at both ends. Oh. That is quite cool. I, I like that. Imagine the sci-fi stuff you could do with that thing. Yeah, yeah. I was just thinking exactly the same thing there, Norm. Yep. Oh, I like this one, Norm. Oh. Uh, this is Mr. Dean Taff next, mm -hmm. and he's, he's another first-time poster uh, mm -hmm. for the live show. Uh, thanks for having him in the group. He's already picked up a few great tips. Uh, nearly finished with this Tamiya 20 mil uh, flak. He's wanted a really worn look, so he's used the hairspray chipping technique for the first time since returning to building and painting after a 10-year break. Mm -hmm. uh, also, first time using AK Interactive wash and grime uh, for DAK. And he's really with his, that were an echo then. Oh. Mm -hmm. He's really pleased with the results. And uh, next is a flat coat pigment and hitch it to a two five one slash one, and she's done. Really nice. That is cool. Very I nice. Do like that. Mm -hmm. Cool. Very nice. I, I like this as well. Uh -huh. Mr. Steve Spencer Beanie. Uh, this is Bandai Star Wars 112th scale R2-D2. Oh, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it might be C-3PO. Uh, it's a quick kit to get him back into it. Oh, I mean, expert, Graham. <laughs> 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 Who's that, Graham? That is... I know who that is. That's an R2-D2. I know who that is. Read it there. Don't need to be I don't, let me put my thumb over it, so I was <laughs> <laughs> I actually did put my thumb over it then. Oh, dear. Uh, and this is his 112 scale R2-D2. It's a quick little kit to get him back into it as he's been away for a few weeks. Uh, he weren't happy with the grey plastic for the dome, so he's used C1 metalizer to give a shine. Uh, then UMP sand wash followed by MIG polished metal. Uh, to highlight the scuffed areas, then some MIG Starship fill to the feet area. It's a nice little kit and happy modeling. Or, really oh, <laughs> happy modeling. <laughs> I do quite like that though. It looks, it's, yeah, it it's, looks it's supposed to look not all nice and new. This is Mr. James Giffins. That's a great picture. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like he's in the middle of doing something that he shouldn't be doing. Looks like he smacked off his tits. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. He's on space. Um, and he says, here he is again, sausage. He wanted to do some practicing for faces before starting his figures, so he's pulled the resin piece out and he's not sure who it is, sorry, or who made it. Uh, and he's used scale 75 flesh paint set and he's not finished but happy so far. That looks really well. Yeah, I quite, like, I quite like the tonal variation he's got from the eye yeah. to the nose to the under the chin bit there. I quite yeah. like that. Yeah. Around the jaws, around his cheeks as well. That looks yeah. really good. And the blueness in his lips, or the, at least the darkness in his lips, I'd mm. try and keep that as much as I could. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking, Dan. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to move along because I think I know where Graham's head is at the minute. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, this is Mr. Philip Ram's car next. Or Bobbington Nuclear Blow, oh whatever his God. name is on YouTube these days. Uh, and this is Trumpeter uh, 172nd TU 16K. Say something. It's, 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 yes, it's one of those. Uh, the airframe is almost done, and the lights, red, green, and white from Fast Track Products uh, eBay is a good fitting kit. Oh, yeah, he's got lights in wing there, look. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. 
I'd have never noticed. Oh, massive, isn't it? That is quite big, though. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I weren't even, I weren't even going to acknowledge that with a chuckle. <laughs> Mate, uh, <laughs> that's cool, isn't it? Wow. What was what was that? That? Yeah, you showed that last week. Yeah. Yes, he, he half painted some bits on it. This is Mr. Stephen Hanneman. I love the feet on the window. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and he says, Surf's up. It's a Rev Revel 125th Tiki Hut. Uh, he's finally finished the surfboards. Uh, Tamir Fokar and Model Masters Paint. Uh, pledge with Future Gloss Coat. Uh, and he's used Micro Mask for creating bubbles. That's cool. Nice fade on that board. Yes. I, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's hard to do, that, isn't it? Mm. I have attempted it, but then get up. Because <laughs> it's hard to do. Well, I quite like that. Oh, very nice. Ooh. Mr. Oh. Paul Bertland. Sweeties. Uh, and this is his B-Max 124th BMW E30 M3. And he's probably, so far, he's primed in UMP white primer. Then given four coats of decanted Tamiya TS26 white. Uh, the decal cast tic tacs decals went on great, no issues at all. Uh, he's going to give them a couple of days to dry and then 2k it. Uh, SK BBS wheels, uh, by their resin centers primed in UMP black primer, then sprayed in AK Extreme brass and cleared with the canted TS to me, TS 13. I apologize. Uh, he's polished one of the rims up and stuck the wheel lock in just to see what they look like. Uh, the center locks still need painting and the rest of the rims need polishing. That looks brilliant. Yeah. 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 Okay. I like. Are, are you going to try the mask set version Tic Tac as well, Paul? Well, yeah. <laughs> can, can I just ask what flavour Tic Tacs? Take them. Uh, mint. Yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> that looks. That looks brilliant. Yeah, yeah that's good. Really you, that. you did a nice job on those rims. <laughs> I, I'm proud of my rim job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Bye. Oh, I'm gonna step back quietly. Oh, hang on. This is this is a rarity. This one here. Yeah. Uh, this is Mr. Sam McCord, the one and only. Uh, and this is his B Max 124th BMW M3 E30. Uh, he's primed in UMP white. He's base coated it with zero paints white, and decaled with aftermarket Kam Kamachi. Kamachi. Is that Kamachi, how you pronounce yeah. it? Uh, BMW Racing Team from Hero Boy uh, is decaled this at 3 a.m. on Friday morning, uh, but it's a whip, so it will be finished by next Friday. Yep. Nice. That's a that's a that's probably your best photo I've ever seen you take an off. In focus. We told him how to focus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we did. You need Graham. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know me. Technology? Nah, I don't want to. You've, you've got a crack now, though, man. I was going to say that's a belting picture, that. Sam does a crack in brass rubbing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was say, Sam, Sam's goes for the artistic Vaseline on the lens. Yeah. Normally. It's usually a finger mark. <laughs> yeah. Well, well the Vaseline on, where's that from? Um, um, <laughs> after the live show. Tim, you got those gloves, Andy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I might need them. Uh, this is Mr. Dan Cook, uh, and this is his B Max 124th BMW M3, uh, M3 E30. Uh, the poor relation, apparently. It's primed in UMP black primer and painted in decanted TS29 semi gloss black uh, with a smidgen of Mr. Level and Thinner, and he's using the JPS ATCC Bathurst oh. decal set, and he's open if he. Deckles it on Holly Bob's this week. Uh, it will be only a week late for the touring car build. There you go. Oh, that'll be nice. Yeah, it's coming out good. I think he's been relegated to the dining room table as well. Mm, looks like. No, I think. It's, it's nice to do decals. Oh, he's he's is, is he still on holiday. He's just come back and gone away again. Oh. I'm in wrong job, I'm sure. <laughs> I thought I am. Yeah, you have about six foreign holidays a year. 
Josh. Yeah. Josh, people might be listening. You've just applied for your dual passport, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> nice son. Mr. Dan Scatter, good Ramirez. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, this is Mr. Dan Edmonds next. Uh, and this is 124th Hasegawi. Lancia Delta HF Integrale 16 valve. Uh, we finally finished it yesterday. It's all out the box behind the two millimeter red ribbon for the belts, uh, as the vinyl stuff supplied with the kit was horrible. Uh, I found this quite a tricky build because of all the small detail painting that had to be done, as the parts weren't molded separately. Uh, also, fiddly PE uh, seat belts are me cracking some of the some of the decals. Pardon me again. Overall, is pleased with the finished results. Uh, is using MP primers to me a TS26 out of the can. Aqua glass micro mesh pads and liquid abrasive for the polishing and various Vallejo colors for the details. Have a great show, guys, and a wonderful weekend, everybody. Nice work, Yeah, lovely. I like this next one as, a lot as well. Oh, look! Oh, look at that. That's cool. Uh, Mr. Luke Carswell. He says, Evening, folks. This week he's finished the Tamiya Tom Supra for Paul's Touring Car GB. Uh, this is his first proper car build and made lots of mistakes, which the pictures show. Uh, having said that, he's learned lots too, which is what it's all about. He's sprayed in UMP grey, then white primers. Uh, three light coats of decanted Tamiya TS26. Uh, decals applied using Microset, Microsol and Solver Set. Uh, he's clear coated it in Zero Paint Diamond TK Clear. He's really enjoyed this one and is looking forward to the muscle car build. Happy Friday and happy modeling. Awesome. That looks brilliant. That's a mean looking car, isn't it? I do like that. It looks very nice. Gorgeous. It's seriously ballsy to do that as your first car. Mm. Yeah, it is, yeah. Especially the decals conforming around oh. those fingers. Oh, I see, I'd have dreaded that. If that were my first mm. car, I'd have just dreaded it. What the hell's at the bottom coming up? Oh. <laughs> it's, and Andre banana. it's Andreas. It's always, it's yeah. normally dinosaur. Yeah, uh, this is Mr. Andreas Scar again, and he's currently working on this ICM 48 scale MIG 25 PP. Yay! Yay! Nice. Oh, very nice. Very nice, Andreas. It's a big and, one. And he's also a banana. Because <laughs> that could turn into a Hang on. Go back to that picture. Which picture? He's just playing. That one. Yeah, did any of the paints actually land on the model or did it all land on the model? <laughs> 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 well, that's what well, Carl. Well, we had like a small fire. <laughs> it looks like it, yeah. It does, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think what he's done is laid everything down and then just sprayed everything on his cutting mat. Yep. A skunk. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh. This is Mr. David Sean. Uh -huh. Wow. Uh, and it is a chopped up mess uh, of a Hasegawi Nissan Sunny truck kit uh, with the roof and rear interior side panels from a AMT 65 Chevelle wagon and the cut up C1 models uh, Hakatora Trans kit to make a custom wagon slash van uh, mini. Nice one. Hmm. Well, that looks nice. That does look quite cool, actually, I've got to say. That's cool. It does do some real good mm. quality butchering of kits, let's say. Neat. It makes things you wouldn't think of. Yeah, it does, yeah. It also does things that I'd never even attempt. You know, no, indoors, bonnets, all that stuff. Yeah. Uh, this is Mr. Neil Fraser next. Uh, and it's Hi Guys this week, same as last week. It's his 124 scale B17 Scratch. <laughs> Uh, this week has seen a fair bit of change and generally is pretty happy with the way it's going and he hopes we like it. Have a great weekend. That is awesome. That's I think amazing. it's mad, to be honest with you. Yeah, I'm yeah, with that. That's fantastic. I'll tell you something, though, in, in just a couple of three weeks, that's come a long way. Look good, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Is he, is he building the whole plane? Yeah. No, he's, no, he's building a section. No, no sorry. Yeah, it's the fuselage. Fuselage. <laughs> Is it yeah, fuselage and Bombay? There's yeah. a bit of a, it's, bit yeah. of a wing, I think, going on there as well. But he's been planning it. The the blueprints that, that he got, he's been planning it for two years. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's come along really fast, though. He's, he's yeah. really plowing on with it. 
Mm. Brilliant work, man. It's Absolutely amazing. brilliant. It's amazing, man. Yeah, that's it's it's starting to look different because he's adding paint and mm -hmm. whatnot. So I think, yeah, I'm quite looking forward to seeing that finish now. And this is a Vampiric SA Modeler. I'm just going to call him John. <laughs> <laughs> Adam, got, Adam got that joke then. <laughs> uh, painted the 65 Impala Body and Model Masters Burnt Copper and did a, a clean rotisserie undercarriage looking chrome with one millimeter Molotov chrome pen. Oh. And below matte black and decked out the body in kit decals he's also cut out the trunk slash boot and fitted some hinges to the hood as well uh also did some diy hydraulic scale pumps made from hardware store stuff cool. nice love an impala see i wouldn't i wouldn't even dream of cutting boot lid or like that up and i just yeah knowing me i'd get halfway through and ruin it and then just bent like Oh, hello, it's Chunk. Oh, Chunk. Oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Clinton Eels has put high Paul and crew. He's almost finished his Revell 125th scale 65 Chevy pickup. Uh, all it needs is some Tamiya TS13 clear, which hopefully will be done over the weekend. Uh, we'll have final picks next week and have a great weekend. Oh, that's nice, Chunk. I like that. I quite like that. I like it. It's a nice colour as well. I like that green. Oh, I like it. Oh. oh, Mr. John Sharp and his big <laughs> bang. Look at the size of it. Uh, this is his Trumpeter 2A3 uh, compensator uh, in 135th. Uh -huh. And I know it says not compensator, but it's a, it sounds better. Uh, a bit more progress this week. It's a great fun build and slowly getting there. <laughs> That's really nice. He likes big gun. Now, what, what's Andreas done here? I was supposed to be a comment to John's post. <laughs> <laughs> I missed. <laughs> uh, apparently, Darren Greenwood's doing a BA20 armor car. Using... Oh, that's the reply. Ah, carry on. Move along. Yeah. Mm. That's, that must be the reply to the other one about armored mm -hmm. Soviet jobby. Anyway, this is Mr. David Powell, and this is Hobby Boss 148 ME 262 B1A trainer. And his work, his work using mainly Tamiya paints and comments welcome. You've done a cracking job there, mate. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Very cool. Good job. Um, can, I, can I just say, because David's just joined the Facebook group, and he's posted a couple of things. And unfortunately, the two things he's posted have started a bit of a... A, a debate shall we say and he's always apo he's, yeah. he's apologizing for no you, you're asking questions mate and that's great um but when you ask like things about future it's always going to start a debate mate. it's always yes. it's not your fault at all um no matter what happens just put future or pledge or clear with a k into the search bar at the top of the group and just see how many arguments there are about it oh it's, yeah uh, it's never ending mate. Yes. it's not your fault there you go and that's that's uh that's it this so, week i'll tell you what i'm not glad i'm not <laughs> here today i'm so <laughs> glad i'm not picking yep. all right so norman do you want to get your time real quick i have what we'll do we'll start the time off you got five minutes pick here who you think you want to win what one vote only and take it seriously as well and whilst the time is going down i'll do a quick recap well, I try and count the numbers. Yeah, while Tim tries to write them down. You, you ready, Graham? Uh, am I? <laughs> oh, <yeah>. Sorry. <laughs> oh, hard, work. hard work getting the start. Are you ready, Dan? Ready, ready, boys. Ready, ready, right. ready when you are, Norm. And three, one, go. Start votes now. At least um, we'll have a quick recap. This is Carl making models with his Anakin. <laughs> Uh, Nova Russ, Mr. James Skiffins, and his scratch built splendidness of a church. Uh, F27 packs and his uh, Boeing 737 200. Uh, this is Kempe84 with his Lamborghini Diablo. Uh, this is Mr. Alan McNeish with his uh, Marks and Spencer's Rebox Lank. Uh, you're not eligible. Or you. Or you. 
Oh, the mullet and his uh, Panzer II. So why is Al not eligible? I never said Al. Oh, I thought you did. Sorry. No. Oh, well, sorry, mate. It's because I'm looking at me blooming phone screen as you're talking. Yeah. You? yeah. <laughs> you're sorry. Not eligible. Sorry. Now, then, now then, I know Adam's on here, but is he still eligible, do you think? Yeah. Maybe he should be. I think he should be, because that one's a belter. Everyone's eligible. We're not voting. Everyone's eligible. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've forgotten we're not voting, are we? So, yeah. Oh, was um, sorry, yeah. Um, Graham uh, Q07. Mate, we're not doing a giveaway. He's not the only one. There's about 10 people doing it. Yeah. 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 Thanks for that. Uh, thanks thanks for doing the show. Yeah. So, yeah, let me just go back a bit then. And if we, yeah, I forgot that we're not picking. So, yeah, you can pick for Paul if you want. I won't because it's not very nice, that one. Thanks. And Graham can't win because he's butchered the wheel. At least my cards are like a dressed up whore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Andreas, Andreas could win because that's mm -hmm. quite a nice plane. To be fair, I, I just love the people put the numbers in the chat. That's epically funny. <laughs> I'm just here for prizes. Not here to watch the show. But this is Norm's three that are aiming for a box this time next week. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Adam's got a belter there. I've got to say, yeah, I've got just, that is just. belter. And this one, Mr. Tommy Calander with his uh, 1-144-P2 Spirit. Uh, Tim and his busted wheel, and nah, don't bother with that one. And that one is, uh, yeah. Oh, no, I didn't see that one. That's his, that's his oh, model. That's He's ready for yeah. And then we've got Mr. David Everton with his uh, Hurricane Mark 1. Like we've got Mr. Richard Lamb with his West 6 UH5. I like, that. I like that one a lot as well. Mr. Yeah. Stuart Avery with his. Oh, it's a, it's a Whitman Tiger thing. Um, this is Mr. Stephen Potter with his Hasigawi RS250 RW. I quite like that one as well. Mm -hmm. Mr. Anthony Mitchell with his Ford Mustang GT. Mr. Gav Painter with his uh, Soviet V820 armored car. That's the comment from on the thing uh, earlier. Mr. Richard Paddock with his Kitty Hawk uh, AH6J Little Bird. Mr. Dave Watts with his uh, two tanks and his dioramas. Mr. Alex Hillman with his uh, Spitfire cockpit. Nice. Mr. Brad Effenberger with his uh, ME262 engine. Very nice. Uh, Mr. Charles Stellini, I quite like that one with his uh, M35 Hans Wagon thing. You got an echo there? Yeah. 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 Wow. Okay. Um, one. One minute. I think it's me. Let me refresh. One minute, should I pause it? Uh, Mr. Dean Taff with his 20 mil flak. Yeah, uh, Scale model vamp. I don't know if you've got problems following rules or something. Uh, one vote, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Mental. Uh, Mr. Steve Spencer Beaner with RT, R2 D2. Mr. James Skiffin with his practice bust. That sounds wrong. Mr. Philip nah. with his uh, big ass plane, Mr. Stephen Hanneman with his uh, tiki hut thing and his surfboard, Mr. Paul Bertland with his uh, M3, Mr. Sam McCord with his M3, Mr. Dan Cook with his M3, uh, Mr. Dan Edmonds with his Lancia Delta HF into Raleigh, uh, Mr. Luke Carswell with his uh, Supra, Mr. Andreas Scar with his MiG 25. Nah. And his banana. banana, Mr. David Sean, with his chopped up Nissan Sunny truck kit thing. Mr. Neil Fraser with his uh, B17 scratch build. Uh, Mr. Uh, John, I'm going to call him with his. Uh, what actually was it? Oh, it's a 65 Impala. That's what it is. Uh, Mr. Clinton Neal's with his 65 Chevy pickup. Uh, Mr. John Sharp with his uh, compensator. Uh, Mr. David Powell with his Hobby Boss 262. Stop voting. <laughs> <laughs> Awesomeness. Timbo. 
All right, so I think I've actually got the last one. Yeah, so, okay, so we've got, let me have a quick look. We've got, wow, we've got three drawing for second place. Ooh. We've got Carl's Pod Racer. Ooh. We've got Bill, uh, Neil's B17. Ooh. And then we've got the B2 Spirit all drawing for second place. But well out in front is Richie's Wessex. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Well, well played. I so called it. Game. Again, we've got a massive list of people voting different stuff, which is really good. I am so chuffed for that. That's an awesome builder, if you will, don't we? Congratulations, Richie. Done, Dan. Excellent work. Can someone just give the usual spiel about messaging me while I'm in the spray booth? <laughs> Don't message Paul while he's in the spray booth. No, uh, <laughs> this is Paul. We're not in the spray booth. If you, uh, I'm, uh, I think you know Paul anyway, Richie. But if you message Paul Blackland on Facebook or Paul on the forum, and he will uh, get your address and send you a lovely prize. And well, just before, you? just before we move along, I just want to mention uh, or say, get well soon, Gil. I hope, I hope it went well, dude. Yeah. Was he all right? Is he or is he just? He's in the chat. He's watching, but he says he's very sore. Oh, what happened? No, no, I didn't see. Had an operation. Had operation. Operation. Oh dear. Hope you're right, Dirk. You. I, I believe he's had some electronics implanted. <gasps> cool. Oh, I, I've always wanted one that I, I think could it's turn along the similar lines of like a tens machine or something. It's brilliant uh, to come with a remote control. My brother's got it in his back. Yeah, and does it's, it have multi? Does it have variable speed? And um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not even attempting that one, Timbo. <laughs> the six million dollar gill. <laughs> <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, back yeah. problems are just the biggest pain in the ass. And yeah, I do hope it gets better soon. Get well soon, mate. That's so good. And, yeah. I'm really, and I'm really, really, really glad that we didn't have to choose this week. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just saying. I think we should do this every week. Save our, save our worry. <laughs> See you later, mate. Take care, buddy. Yeah, and thank you, everybody, who put their entries in and everything. Yeah. yeah. Good work. Some crack and work in that. Mm. Yeah, that will belt in. Oh, to Graham. Hello. <laughs> it's <laughs> unconscious. <laughs> yeah. Do you want any questions for the crew in a minute? Yeah, I can do me. I can do. I will just finish. He's still oh, I am perfectly fine. <laughs> I'm about my fifth drink. Anyway, yeah, I hope you feel better soon, girl. Sorry, but it was in the spray booth when you were saying that. Yeah, I hope you feel better soon, man. Definitely. <laughs> Oh, spinal stimulator put in. Damn. Wow. Hope it helps. Hope it works. Uh oh. Get it going when you're ready, mate. Yeah, I'll just uh, just stick this wheel oh, together. And you. Oh. 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 Oh.
<laughs> I'll wait for that 787 review. Yeah, I've been thinking exactly about that myself. You know that. <laughs> I've, got, I've, I've got a... The, the problem with it is you want to you wanna show people what's in there, but without just sitting there going, here's a little piece of metal. Yeah, well, don't, don't show every bit. Just show the important bits. The big bits. I look forward to seeing that thing turn up beautiful. Yeah, it's all important. It's all, every part is important. By the way, every, everything I mentioned about before, all the groups, now they're all linked in the uh, description below. Yeah. Oh, no, I don't want to register on the forum. I'm already registered. Are you? Well, on the police station. <laughs> <laughs> every Friday morning without Ramblers United. Oh, dear. Hmm. Where is it there? Um, right. No questions on the forum. Boo. Mm. So let's have a look at Facebook. Good old Facebook. Right. Got a couple of questions on the Live at the Bench group. So let's just close that down so that's not in my way. Right. So this is for Friday the 24th of August. Oh, let me just check. Them. Yeah. Right. So first question from the ISM Live at the Bench group is from Joe. Just move that light back. Joe Bentley. Um, what is the best white what is the best Jesus? <laughs> what is the best white paint to use to get a good coverage on a model? Most whites I have used have been very watery and don't give good coverage. I saw John's recent video where he used UMP primer to good effect, but was wondering if there is a really good white paint, Tamiya, Vallejo, AK, etc. Not enamel. Many thanks, guys. That's from Joe Bentley. Um, yeah, I normally use UMP white primer to get the base down then. Tamiya XF2 is good, pretty good yeah. coverage. And uh, ACAN White is really good for coverage as well. Yeah, it's really good. Really good, ACAN. Um, but with uh, white paints or any opaque paint, reds, yellows, they need thin coats, really thin coats, mm -hmm. and build your uh, coverage up. So that would be my vote. Mm -hmm. um, the Tamiya Rattle Cam paint, if you uh, mm. fancy decanting a bit of that. Um, I used that on my um, Skoda, and it was lovely. That's TS26, which is nice. But you primed the UMP white first. And I primed the UMP white first, yeah. Well, UMP white with a tiny drop of grey, UMP grey primer, and just so I could see it, because it was going on white plastic with a white top coat, so I just dropped a bit of grey in so I could see it. It's not being more mine. I think the other five or six coats of paint on it. Well, that was a white primer coat you know, on it. A lot of people think you just hose on the paint. You know, and that's the worst thing you can do. Especially with white, it won't yeah, well, terrible. It'll bead up and go horrible so easily. It's so easy oh, yeah. to want to just spray it on. You just got to stop yourself. Uh, there's a couple of questions in the chat there, which I'll come back to in a minute. Apart from Sprue Group, Sprue Glue Addict asking Paul when he's wearing Red Dead Redemption 2. Why are you oh. shouting? I won't, mate. No. Okay. I don't own any games, consoles, or gaming PCs. Um, a question from Cam, Jonathan Kaminsky. Any recommendations for liquid masking? I've heard mixed reviews around this subject. One solution I've seen uh, to statue figure painters use is silly putty, but to get it to the UK, it costs an arm and a leg. Thank See, you for I'd, your help and advice. I'd recommend that one if it were me. Yeah, Dan's going to recommend the Windsor Newton stuff. I've got the camera on you. Hang on. Uh, Windsor and Newton colourless art masking fluid. It's the white one. There's a couple of them, um, but that's the one I would recommend. It it goes on clear. It dries. It dries like white glue. Believe it or not, it smells like a putrefied dead body that's been dead for six years. Sounds <laughs> like copy decks then. Uh, but it, it it's I don't know. It just peels off and it's a doddle to use. Just dab it on with a brush. You can either just let brush dry and peel it off or do you remember copy decks as a kid yes yeah does it smell a bit like that similar i think it's, it's a bit like fish guts yes right. it's definitely <laughs> an acquired smell i wouldn't yeah. like to think i will put it under my nostrils and just snorting at it for hours it just be <laughs> horrible, but 
That's what I would recommend. I have used I've used it three, four times now for different applications. It's perfect for filling in on canopies. I will just state that. Um uh, because it dries clear, you can see what you're doing, and it just roll literally just rolls off like a uh like you're peeling off masking tape or something. But well, that's the one, the white one. Um it's um yeah, it's colourless art masking fluid by Windsor and Newton. That's the one I'd recommend. I like the Gunsy dust not too bad as well. My recommendation would be not too bad. Yeah. Yeah. I've never had any look of it whatsoever other than making a mess i want to say i've, I've tried bascal in past and that is horrible oh, that's terrible in front of it is e that is evil stuff that and the stuff from oh what's the other company we bought some from um oh that bloody ak stuff is it ak5 no, yeah, it really good at first and then it yeah. went off in the bottle yeah really fast mm. terrible stuff i got some liquid latex i use some Hobby brand, yeah, smells like rubber. Cool. Yeah, it's no. not the prettiest of smells, is it? No. Um, right, and onto the main ISM Facebook page. First question was from Eric Masson: Is it possible to get a link for the live show, which I gave him, and a link to the group, which he's joined, and he's joined us tonight and shared his work, which is all, all Hello. good. Excellent, Thanks, Eric. And a question from Neil Fraser, who was building the awesome um, B17 fuse large. A uh, question for the crew in general. We all do this for our own reasons and in our own style, but what was it that drew you back into the hobby? To get chicks. Uh, <laughs> well, we start off and right, Andreas. Okay. Um, well, I used to do motorsport, but I couldn't afford it anymore. And I... <laughs> wanted a cheap hobby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it is actually a whole lot cheaper than most cars. Yeah. yeah. The way I stumbled back into it, actually, I will was looking at uh, an episode of was it Laurie and Fry, I think. And uh, that skit with that hobby shop. Thing. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> yeah. That's a great idea. Well, that's it. So, then I thought myself, oh, I used to do models when I was a kid. And then I went on eBay, and then I went on YouTube, and then, well, four years later, I'm here. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, Graham? Um, I didn't come back to the hobby because I wasn't a modeler before, apart from like tiny bits when I was a kid. Um, and I just did it as a pure fluke, as a video on my YouTube channel. Um, no, I just bought a kit for my, for my boy to do for his birthday and decided I'd watch YouTube to get some tips. And, oh, yeah. was like a proper dad. and then there was just like a massive rabbit hole that just opened up and I fell into it. And 18 months later, <laughs> I'm in a custom built workshop in my garden. But the reason that I kind of went at it for with so much vigor, I guess, is because I quickly realized that it was really helping with my uh, problems with uh, anxiety and depression and stuff. Um, just taking me away from everything and helping me to wind down at the end of the day and all the rest of it. And it's helped me tons and millions. Um, so that's why I've stuck with it so much. Excellent. Uh, Dan, uh, sorry, Adam, sorry. Um, what drew, what drew me back to it? I don't, um, what I used to do when I was a kid, obviously, I had them all hanging off the ceiling, and then obviously I grew up a bit, got into beer and women, and then uh, I used to fly radar control planes, and I was looking at like scale planes, I was looking at weathering stuff, and then come across loads of videos on YouTube, and then it sort of drew into the models again, and then. Yeah, I started building them uh, again, and then just got hooked again big time. And even more so, I gave up the radar control planes to do this. Cool. So, yeah. Nice one, Adam. Uh, Dan? Uh, it, it was my brother-in-law that drew me back in, believe it or not, in the very, very early days of ISM. Father-in-law. <laughs> yeah. yeah Father-in-law, yeah. When there was, I think there was, when I joined ISM Forum, there'd have been probably either just under or just over 300 people on there. No, you were there from the beginning, weren't you? Uh, and all it were, I would be around his ass and he was tinkering about with these 
braille scale as he calls them little crappy looking tank things and i'm you know i thought you know i'll just have a bash so i went out and bought a red arras kit from airfix you know with dodgy crappy paint and i sat in the room and did it <laughs> and it's just snowballed <laughs> 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 and yeah it's got to the point where i'm lots of thousands deep into it now and i've off got a man cave built and yeah yeah it's i love it i love it i'm moving away from the actual kits more more so to painting you know like resin bits and you know and don't get me wrong i still like building the building part of it but i enjoy the painting so i think yeah i think yeah maybe not so many kits in my future more more busts and resin bits and bobs i think cool but yeah i was yeah one of the first people essentially on ism and i would i would I was quiet for at least a year on there before I actually, yeah, made myself known and and I, I do need to get back to it for him a bit more if I'm honest. Everybody does. Cool, nice one, Dan. No problemo. Norman. I never ever really left the hobby at all. Yeah. Right, move Norman. <laughs> Don't really <joke. laughs> <laughs> I've actually been reboxing kits for about 40 odd years. <laughs> <laughs> I've always had a job where the, uh, there's been a lot of spare time in between, you know, like split shifts and stuff like that. And models, I've always took a model where it's in a box and little bods and sods and always built and fiddled along with a model. I don't think, even when I had children and got married, uh, I don't think I've ever left, left it at all. I always, I've always modelled. I find it totally relaxing. I'm not a TV fan. So I don't watch massive amount of TV. I listen to the radio, but you can listen to the radio while you're doing stuff. So I've always modelled, mate. I've never given it up. Really haven't. I've never gotten any better, but I've never gotten any worse. Mm. Excellent. Uh, Sam? I got it as a child. Um, then other things came along, sport and bikes and different things. And then about four and a half years ago, I was lying in the hospital. And I watched one of Paul's videos, and the rest is history. Really, um, mm -hmm. I've been here for the last four and a half years, well, so uh, yeah, I'm proud I, for that. I know. Mm -hmm. Um, I initially started doing this again to calm me down a bit because um, what I used to do was a bit pressurized, to say the least. So uh, yeah, it it calms me, it relaxes me, and I need to do it. You know, every day I'm up here from maybe eight o'clock in the morning until four in the afternoon. Then back at night time again. I just need to do it. It keeps me relaxed, keeps me calm, which is important. Oh, it's very yeah. relaxed modeling should hear him. Yeah, you should hear him. <laughs> wing mirrors. <laughs> no, I know I don't be talking about the wing mirrors. <laughs> the air's a bit blue when it comes to wing mirrors and cars. And Tim, Tim there? No. Damn. Damn. No, we'll come back to Tim then. For me, um, I got back into this in 2010 properly and basically I lost my lifetime hobby due to an arsehole drink driver and tried a multitude of things, also RC stuff and different things and stuff and ended up back with modeling, which I hadn't done for quite a while. And um, that's it. And as with these guys, it Helps with my uh, anxiety and stops me twisting people's heads off. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, that's it, really, basically. Yeah. Good. I, I like arrive in a hangout, and he wants to do more. <laughs> <laughs> he said, <"Hey>, yeah. <laughs> I arrive in a hangout. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. Yeah, he wants to twist someone's head off then. Looking for new hobbies now. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard scale electrics go, Paul. <laughs> oh, man, yeah, I can't wait. I've got one of them as well. In a box, international <laughs> scale electric. <laughs> <laughs> You're taking a part, Megan, aren't you, Paul? Any others, Graham? Uh, yes, there are. I'm Hang on, to... Tim's back. Tim. Okay. Tim. Try. Children. Probably modelling. Probably yeah. eat with mustard cream. <laughs> well, I've gone. I used to go down. Well, I'd go to go to work. I used to walk up to the, the local sweet shop, and they used to have the Tamiya magazines on there when it was just um smears so they had the military and all the cars and planes together so i used to buy bought a couple of them then they started releasing the armor stuff and I, I bought some of those 
And then I just thought, do you know what? I, I had all the stuff still sat at my mum's house and just started going back into it and just started um, building some of the old kits I had. And then it snowballed from there. Yeah, just uh, the old magazines were good. Excellent. Like the old Tamir, you know, doing their first doing their arm, arm and stuff. It's good fun. Agreed. Cool. Good stuff. Okay. Anything else, Graham? Uh, yeah, I'm, there's a couple more on Facebook, but I'm going to jump back to the YouTube chat before it disappears up the page. Okay. Um, a question from Basil Bean. A uh, question for the bench crew. Clear gloss varnish on bodywork. If you get pooling or runs, can anything be done to reduce or remove it while it's still wet? Right. I was thinking cotton bud and thinners. Don't put a cotton bud anywhere near it. Oh. The only thing you can do, if you're very, very careful, and I've done it before, if you've got a run, if you get a piece of kitchen towel and just touch the top of the run, you might absorb a bit of it into the towel. If it's a, a, The thicker the clear, the harder it is to get rid of, but if it's thin, I have sucked up a little bit of the clear, and if it's self-leveling, it'll then level itself. So literally rip a bit of tissue off, and just touch it and let the capillary, you know, the action of the tissue pull it off. But as well, don't put a cotton bud anywhere near it because you just end up fluff all over it. Uh, I, I would actually just leave it and then just have to flat and polish it out. Yeah, you start, even if you use the tissue, you start to flat it, but you're getting rid of yeah. most of it and saving a bit of work. It does work surprisingly well, that tissue trick. Mm. Especially with future. <laughs> yeah. Seriously, no, that's right away. Because it's so yeah. thin, future, isn't it? You can absorb it straight away, can't you? Yep. What about a straw? Try that if you want, Dan. Say what? No, Dan in the chat. Oh. Straw. <laughs> Talk about you, not to you. Yeah, there's too many Dans. Um, cool, well, that's uh, answered that for you, Basil. Uh, Stroman says, I've heard this before, actually. Do you put a drop of blue to make your white paint whiter? I've heard of this being done. And I know in the like the eighties or whatever, the, the I think it was I've like heard that, I've heard that with oil paint, but I've not Aerial heard or Purcell used to advertise one of their washing machine washing powders as you know with a bluey white or something. Yeah. Um, but um, yeah, yeah but it, the blue would make it more look look more like a cool white than a white white. So yeah. Yeah. See, I I, I look at things like that and I think well, bad echo. I sort of think, well, if you know Tamia or whoever have like put all of their R and D into getting the paint white, I'm I'm not sure I'd want to mess with it to make it more white than they can. Um, but yeah, I've heard I've heard other people say that it works, but uh, liquid mask, which we've done. Um, there was another one. Question: I would love to know if there are. This is from John Henley. I would love to know if there are any 135 scale Sherman tanks with full interiors available. I have a number of Soviet and German vehicles, but would like to do like an Allied tank to build Sherman with a full interior. Not that I know of. No, you have to buy um, yeah. resin cast interior. Ooh, good luck with that. Oh, it's nice, great resin. Yeah, but a lot of work. Art count is ridiculous. Yeah, a lot of work. Closest thing you're going to get is probably like an Asuka task kit where you build all that, or a Tamiya one, build all the sections inside, and then yeah, add a. I think I used to ages ago do some interior stuff, and it was quite yeah, basic. Yeah. But you want a proper interior, um, yeah, resi cost. There you go. Uh, it's on there. Um, uh, Mr. Gav had to go. Have a good weekend. Cheers, Gav. Take care, mate. Uh, right, so back to Facebook. Uh, James Skiffins, is there a modelling technique you have seen from other modellers that you would love to learn or try? If so, what is it and what is stopping you? Fear. <laughs> uh, bare metal finish. Yeah. Yeah, bare metal finish. I'll probably try and attempt on the muscle car, I think. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, I might do. I, I'm, I'm having to think. Yeah, but. I won't go with your typical chrome. I might get some of that black chrome. Mm. What, do the whole car? No. Oh, okay. Oh, sorry, I mean the whole... The, the chrome trim. I'm not at okay, yeah. I'm not at mad, Tim. I was thinking, <laughs> car? This is going to be different. Oh, okay. No. That's what um, I thought as well, Tim, to be honest. No, most techniques. If I want to have a go, I'll have a go. And Part of learning, isn't it, is doing it. Best way of learning is... Try it. I'm proud of it and have a go. Best, best way of learning is getting it wrong at the start. <laughs> I'll try anything once, twice if it tastes nice. Yeah. Never, <laughs> never be worried. 
it, it, you're always going to get something. That's what I, I imagine Paul's done loads of cars. I'm quite sure at some points during this process, he's got <laughs> wrong and has oh, to yeah. do things. It's just how it, it's how you learn. Yeah. You're always going to get something wrong somewhere. That me for clear codes, I, I, I can get it okay, but I bought that cheap stuff and got a spot on straight away. Mm. And, you know, it, it, it's like, what am I doing wrong? So you, you try different stuff and, yeah, you figure out how you go, you find which way works best. And just because you see someone doing stuff in a particular way doesn't mean you have to do it that way. You can, you know, take a few different ideas and hone it for your own use. But don't be scared of doing stuff. Just jump in and have a go. Yeah. They're only, they're, only, they're only models. Exactly. There's only a bit of plastic. It's not like it's gold bullion. Yeah. Nah. You ruin it, you're thousands of pounds down. I know it's frustrating, but the only way you're going to learn is by doing it. It's like people who buy an airbrush and people tell them to practice on paper. Nah. Just practice no, on the model. On paper. Paper useless. Just practice on the model. If you screw it up, you screw it up. You're learning an extra one to do it. You can take more time on a model than you are on a bit of paper. And spraying paper is nothing like spraying a model nope. at all. Nope. Yeah, you're um, right. I said that last week, but a daft one. <laughs> hey, I said that last week to somebody, didn't I? No, you can you can spray on paper to learn finger control. That's yeah. different. Yeah. But to learn to airbrush, you actually need to, I think, put it down on plastic. There used to be a gentleman at our club called Keith Robinson. He died a long time ago. He was a sign writer by trade. Hmm. Oh man! The way he used to paint his models was to mask off every individual panel and hand paint it. Then he would do in it, each panel while it was done different tones yeah. and put it all down. Then Vorge then move on to the next panel. He'd do a couple of panels, like four or five panels, move on to the next one. And his kits were phenomenal when he, he, he when he saw them, you know, unmasked. I've always wanted to do that, but the time it takes to do it, it took him about three weeks to do a full kit. But I, the, the way the panels come out individually and all, you know, oh it's something I like to try one day, you know. If I ever get to that stage, <laughs> it, it brushes a lot easier. There you go, mate. It's um, for me. It's an ironic question coming from James because um, my thing that I really want to try is dioramas, but I am hesitant. Um, yeah, I'll get there one day. I'll yeah, me right. Um, yeah. Go on, sorry. That's right. I was gonna say I um I learned a load of techniques before I started modeling really from watching a, a YouTube uh, build series of a, a, a 109 that was a few years ah. old. And then, and then I met the guy who made the video and then he realized that he wasn't doing any of those techniques anymore. <laughs> it, it was literally five years ago. It was things Is it that long ago? I, I was still using Vallejo primers, I was using clay. Oh, yeah. I was still using Peter. Yeah. Um, I was dry brushing, dry brushing in metallic paints. Uh, God, I can't even think about what techniques he used. Well, um, screen wash for cleaning your brushes. Screen wash, it was doesn't do a thing. UK screen wash. <laughs> you must. Really... I went and bought five liters of the stuff. Well, <laughs> you, you put it in your car. I did. Uh, <laughs> a lot of things change, and yeah, but they've drawn a lot of people. ISM, that's my absolutely, yeah, absolutely. It's yeah. run a lot of people into modeling, although it's old, um, yeah. but yeah, <laughs> it was. But that just again, it's like you know, you, you, you kind of think, Oh, I'll, I'll try that, and then you try it and it works, but then there's something better comes along. You try that. The basic principles are there, though, aren't they? the basics are there, oh, god, it? yeah, oh, yeah. I mean, my, my 109 was pretty much built almost to that, to that same, to, to the along with that video series. Um, I mean, it look well. I think it looks pretty good. Yeah, it does. It's great. It's great. It's better than mine. Well, it does the one I built back then. Mm. I think the uh, best thing about modeling, especially this group, is the guys that you meet. Yes. I wish you just had the. Uh, you know about that, Sam. Well, I, I wish you still had the drive to get that second series done. Mm. I do kind of regret that. It, but was, it was shaping up nicely, but yeah, if I just didn't have it, then it was nah. nothing worse. But, you know. Why torture yourself, mate? Absolutely. I see. One thing I'd I I'd like to be able to do is those really amazing figure paints that you mm. see on the box art of those yeah. amazing figures. Oh yeah. But I don't actually have the wish to pursue doing it. I, I love it and look at it and go, I wish I could do that. 
but I'm not actually concerned enough to actually think I want to be able to do it and I want to go into not, I've not felt that need mm. I want to have plenty of artistic license so if, you know so it just shows it's not identical to everybody else's you know what I mean everybody's painting exactly the same I just want a bit of some you know what I mean it's make it your own just yeah, enough, just enough to make it your own yeah it's just it's preference isn't it you know everybody can build Everybody can build a, a car and paint it exactly like box art shows or this and you know what I mean? A bit of that sort of don't float my boat if you like. I want to be individual. Yeah, and you guys have done that though. I mean, look at the Mark the Tim built. Yeah, that, yeah. Look at the die we did with the robot's head. Look at your Joker. You know, the Predator, the Deadpool. You know. Need I say more? Yeah, they were shocking. Shocking. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tim, Tim building that mare made me sell mine. I was like, yeah, I'm building that now. Yeah, I'll, be bad now. <laughs> I'll never beat that up. No, yeah, brilliant. Pretty special, that league. That was lovely. Um, oh, at least you're modest about it. <laughs> <laughs> bloody amazing. It was bloody amazing. Do you know what the was, though? After, I think it was the year I, the, the, I took it to Telford that year. I thought I was over. What, what clear coat did you use? I'm starting going. I can't remember. Yeah. I can't remember. Yeah. I use this. Oh, no, I use that. <laughs> I can't remember. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's a good question. I like that. Getting a couple of good debates. Um, okay, one from Claire. Uh, Claire Smith on Facebook. Claire in the chat on YouTube. Um, has the crew an opinion on print your own decals using inkjet water slide decal paper? Ooh. Any tips on printing and sealing them? I'm looking to do a Moonraker space shuttle for a future build. Thanks. I did it a long time ago, and there's a thread on the forum somewhere showing me doing it. And in my opinion, they don't look great. No, you need a very good printer, don't you? Yeah, they, they don't look good. They're thick. The colours aren't great. When you hit them with a decal solution, the colours can run. Um, yeah, personally... No, I'd avoid it. My own opinion. There are a, a few companies out there that will do, or who will do custom decals yes. for you. Yeah, that might be a better option. I've had prices off them; they're extortionate. Some of them. Yeah. But well, if you've got a very, very good laser jet, I mean, a very good laser jet, then you can do great decals. And get them yeah, great but decals. even when you put them down, Tim, that's yeah. Oh. Don't that bad. Oh. Um, um, and when you put your decals, you're not going to meet you, dude. You're not going to meet you. Probably going to leave. Yeah, when I put the decal solutions on, they ran. The colours just ran into each other. Yeah, I wasn't impressed. Mm. Okay. Anyone else? Anybody else print any decals? Nope. Never right. done it. Failed miserably. Never tried it again. Wouldn't have a clue how to turn a printer on. <laughs> Talk to you. Um. I'll jump in back to YouTube quickly. Uh, David Powell has just asked, first of all, he said thanks for his for our kind comment on his builds. Um, and then he said, how do you get glue marks off the window glass? General question. Mm -hmm. And it was, tell me you're extra thin. Extra yeah. thin, you got to polish that off. Yeah. Lots yeah. of work. You want very fine grit, wherever. Um, Micromist. Well, I've done it with tech before, and I've done it with super glue, which I don't know how the hell I managed to get the super glue off, but it did. And I just use like a UMP grey sponge and the black and then a buffer and a lot of work. And you probably have to compound it as well mm. to get the final finish off. Um, it's a pain, hence the reason for uh, you sure you don't get anywhere near it, near it as you can. Mm. Yeah. yeah. You are going to um, sand it off. Uh, okay, um, and I think we've got one more on Facebook. Yes, we have. Uh, Brett Anderson. Um, hi, crew. I'm just starting a modeling after 25 years. Been watching your show, and I think it's fantastic and keeps me enthusiastic in embracing this new adventure. Just a question about clear plastic. What, if anything, do you use or recommend to improve clarity? My interest is cars, and I've noticed just how schmick Paul's clears look on his cars. Wow. Number one, handle it as little as possible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The more fingerprints are on, the harder it is to clean. Use an off cut of a nice cotton t shirt. Every time you touch it, wipe it down. Mm. Every time. 
Don't let the air glue get on anywhere near. You'll see it because it'll fog it and haze it as will tet. And when you're putting any decals down, don't use any solutions at all. I found that they stain the glass. And when you do any decals, you are going to get the adhesive that come out as well, which you don't normally see on the body. But you'll see it appear on the grass, and it takes quite a bit of buffing to get rid of it. Get rid of it there and then. If you let it dry, it ain't coming off. And all I ever do, like I say, every time I handle it, I'll wipe the, the glass down with a bit of cotton. And I've literally got old T-shirts come up that I wipe them down. Handle it as little as possible. Um, some glass in the car kit is terrible to begin with. Some is really good. And, you know, it's you can take the smallest thing to ruin it. Uh, like that Sierra I just did, that really rare Sierra kit. It's, they've got a big white stress mark in the same place on every window right up the back. But it must be a manufacturing floor. So there's nothing you can do about that. But I, I, my tip is handle it as little, little as possible. Definitely. Yeah. Anyone else? Um, yep. No. I just do what Paul does and give them polish. T-shirt, cut it up. Yep. Soft cotton T-shirt is the best thing in the world. Uh, make sure it's clean. Um, if you if you put it on your bench, I've done it before. Put it out of the way because if you get a grit on it or anything off the bench, it'll scratch. And I've had super glue on there before. Ouch. And also, when you glue your windows inside, if you use glue like I do, make sure it's set before you start wiping it. Because again, I've dragged super glue right across the window before now. Have you ever sprayed kit on the windows? No. Uh, one. Oh, that sounds terrible to clean. That, that's awful. That's a nightmare. Yeah. 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 Well, spray your kicker in a lid or a pot and use a little, I had a little micro brushes for kicker. Yeah. Mm. Dip it in, wipe the most off, just touch it up to it. I use acetone to get my windows clear. <laughs> okay. How does that work? No, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> don't use acetone. <laughs> don't use acetone. <laughs> Um, yeah, you'll hear people talking for aircraft canopies and stuff about dipping it in future or that gauzy uh, thingy. Oh. Nah. Never ever got that to work. No, I don't know. It's ruin the canopy. I start, I just, I, yeah, I, it gives you more opportunity for something to go wrong mm. than I think the thing to go right. And the argument mm. that makes the canopy more clear, I can see that, but look at a real canopy. Yeah, they're not clear. Yeah. They're yeah. They're traveling at 400 miles an hour, getting hit by. Christ knows what in the atmosphere in the air. So if you're making a, you know a, a perfectly clean show bed, then yeah, maybe. Mm. But again, if you're doing canopies, use a bit of compounds on them. Yeah. Tan or Novus that'll bring them up better than dipping with anything. Or even a bit of toothpaste. Toothpaste, you have to, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, the, uh, the the other thing that someone was talking about dipping like car windscreen glass, like you're talking about there, in in, in future or gauzy or anything. It's going to look out of scale because it thickens it. You put an extra coating on both sides of the glass, so effectively you're almost triple glazing what's there. Yeah, you do. And I, I think it would look weird. It, I think it would just look too too heavy. Some cars' windscreens don't like fitting in the best of times. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. There you go. Um, I think that's it for Facebook. Alex Beebe's just asked, um, has anyone used the Novus Plastic Polish Mates cloths? Hmm. Are they worth getting? Well, the one that comes with the Novus plastic polish is yeah. not much cop. Glorified kitchen paper. It works. It's like, it's like, I've got it here, actually. It's like heavy duty, sort of cottony type kitchen paper. But I mean, it works. It's, it's, it does a good job, but it's not going to last very long. Alex, get an old, nice cotton, thin t shirt, cut it into three inch by inch, three inch squares, and that's it, mate. Totally the best nice. polishing cloth you'll get, in my opinion. I've used those Tammy ones before. I'm not a fan of them either. The pink, blue, and whatever colour mm. there is. Red, blue, something. I don't like them. There we go. I think that is everybody's question. Thank you very much, guys. Nice one, Graham. Thank you yeah. for asking the question. Thank you for your as well, mate. And thank you. And Brett, Brett's just said, cheers, guys. Thanks, and glad to hear your thoughts. Welcome back to the hobby, mate. Look forward to seeing your work. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> cool. I will put that question up next week again. <laughs> I reckon you should probably off the hangouts too, Graham. You reckon I should what, mate? 
plug the off there, hangouts. I certainly should. Um, if you would like to join us, as we are now, modeling and chatting and doing stuff, you can do so by joining a Facebook group called the Modeling Hangout Group. Um, and Paul will post a link on there most days. And uh, you're welcome to come and join us and have a chat and do some modeling and ask any questions if you want. Um, all you need is a webcam, a mic, and a good sense of humor. And dare I say, a thick skin. <laughs> um, because, um, yeah, we're a bit more sweary and robust than we are on here, but um, all good fun and all in, um, in good jest, you know. So, yeah, come and join us. You do get a laugh. Absolutely. You will get a laugh, guaranteed. And everybody is welcome. Wow. Wow. Well, yeah. Really, everybody. <laughs> you even let me in. Norman doesn't say the hit, though. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> so there we go. Oh. Well, Norman, how's Lucy? It's fine, mate. Uh, we've got her on Wednesday for a couple of hours. Sweet. Uh, she's going out to London uh, Sunday for a week, so I want to get to see her. Uh, Ruby still getting the brain for everything? Oh, of course. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, we've got the grandkids yet so this weekend. They're all in bed. Brilliant. Yeah. Uh, I think me and Joseph are taking them out somewhere tomorrow for the day, so... Where are you heading? Don't know, mate. Really don't know. Hmm. These are the best days, aren't it? Well, too cold really to go down the coast or something like that because they just want to go on the hoppings all the time and blockades and stuff like that. Uh, keep away from the town because I think Newcastle are playing at home. Uh I don't know. We might take them to Saltwell Park because there's supposed to be like a sort of kiddies theatre sort of thing production on up there. Mm -hmm. oh I was laughing at the swans chasing them. Be a real laugh. That brings <laughs> back some memories. Uh, Gee whiz, Saltwell Park. Blimey. Yeah, it's all been done out now, mate. It's all. Wow. Yeah. I've got some of my old parrots up there. Could go and see the old parrot. <laughs> Um, yeah, she's alive. I miss that bird. Well, I have a quiet weekend ahead of me. Has somebody answered Chris in the chat? What's that? Um, yeah, quite a lot, Chris. Uh, no, between laptops at the moment, can I just hang out with an iPad? Yes. Sorry, sorry. You can, Chris. They work okay. They're not the best, but it will work, mate. Definitely. Yeah. I've joined them a few times. Um, the only thing I'll say is if you if you do hit the link I put up, sometimes it won't work, so you need to copy the link and put it into your browser on your phone or your iPad, and then it'll let you join, and it might not let you join through the app. It's a pain. Yeah. Um, but seriously, you, you, you love a laugh in the hangouts. They're all fun. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. They're a good laugh. The day flies in. It absolutely yeah. flies in. Of, of a night, it can get really busy. Not lately, because no one's joining for some reason. Um, for the day, yeah, probably better for the day, and it's a bit quieter, Sam, isn't it? It is, yeah. It can be, anyway. It, it can be, but... Um, it, it varies. Sometimes it's ram-packed. Yeah, sometimes it may be Honestly, come and join the Hangouts. It'll add a whole other aspect yeah. to your modelling. It makes a massive difference from sitting, listening to the radio or watching a movie on laptop while you're modelling to talking to maybe six or seven guys. It's just brilliant. You learn so much. And you have a laugh. It'll you make you laugh. Your model more. You wear one glove. <laughs> 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 Come on! Oh, well, I missed the pie, Mark. <laughs> it is brilliant, seriously. I I'm just oh. testing a possible colour for my uh, hemi cuda. <laughs> no, no, no! I'm spraying a colour for my hemi cuda. They're a pick. 
What, what, what was that? That car, that color you were fumbling around a minute ago. Yes. Oh, that was nice. Yes. Do you, do you remember that? That came with that Aventador. Do you remember about the Aventador yeah. off eBay? All the bits. That color came with it. Oh, did it? It's like a pearl. It was a Lambo color, was it? Yeah. Yeah, I think it is. I don't know. I'll tell you now. Hang on. So we've got two coats down, two more. I'll quickly go over and have a look. It looks really nice. It is. Uh, yeah, it's a Lamborghini. Uh, Arancio Atlas Pearl. Oh. Looks, uh, oh yeah. I like that. Oh, like it a lot. I like it a lot. I'm gonna be a real wet blanket and go to bed, I think. Oh no! <laughs> well, don't make your, uh, your bed wet. No, 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 no. Okay, cool. Save that for morning. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Insulation. Ew. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for having me. Take it easy, Andre. Good night, mate. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Is it, is it going to be uh, a rendering job tomorrow, Sam? Oh, dear. <laughs> Maybe an eight, Dan. Had a Ruby Murray from a tea, Dan. Had a Ruby Murray from a tea, Dan. Oh. Yeah, so did I. Lovely. That's going to gonna be an avalanche of niceness. <sighs> I think I'll sleep in here. It'd be easier. You had a busy week, then? Yeah, stacked out with it, dude. Mad. Well, it got to a point today where we walked on a job, and this woman who was running the job, she left the job, so we'd, we did. <laughs> I made the executive decision that Renderer walked off the job, so we're going to disappear until Renderer comes back. Yeah. What, you know, trying to go through a third party to figure out what they actually want. Mm, yeah. That does my nut in that. There's no oh, point because it's bound to be wrong, isn't it? I had a bit of an issy fit and then just mounted up and just drove off, literally. You would never throw an issy fit, Dan. No. I sort of person to do that, Dan. Just, just, it was just a minor one. If it had been a full-blown hissy fit, then people would have been hurt. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. Ooh. Yeah, is that showing? Oh, that's oh, a yeah, lovely that one. That is that's... gorgeous. Yeah. Are, you think, are you thinking that in a black bonnet? Don't know yet. I'm trying to say it to show properly. That's got a nice pearl to it as well. Yeah, yeah. I think it'll cool it out, wouldn't it? Very. Do you, know in that, do you know in that light on my screen then, I seen like a, a slight pink to it. It's got, a pearl, it's got a pearl in it a little bit. But yeah, that's a really nice colour, that. Yeah, I think you've made a slight mistake with it, mate. What? You made a slight mistake with it. Should have used quartz. Should have used what? Quartz. Yes. Quartz. I know. I keep meaning to get some the other future. Yeah. Four candles, especially. <laughs> you got some brown forks. Get them in the middle. Oh, fork off. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that before. Yeah, a lot of nice glass, that, Andy. Mm. Yeah, that's a nice colour, that. Yes. Is that is that a metallic? Pearlescent. Okay. So it is a metallic pearl, isn't it? That's what's in there. Adam, Tim, anyone? Sorry, say again. Sorry. Pearlescent's a metallic pearl, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. That's a nice colour, though, right? I was asking, did you spray that directly on the spoon or did you prime it? No, man, I primed it. And it's funny, um, I always wipe 
them over with UMP cleaner before spraying. And because you lot were coming to end of what you were doing, I had to rush over in the booth. And I, I picked another four up to pry and didn't wipe them. So you just sprayed it on the primer fish head. Uh, the contaminants on the spoon. Uh, mm. It's important to wiping down the spray. That's just what, what talking about before the start of the show. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to wipe that. Chris, it is half ten in the evening here, bud. So we've got a winner of a color there. Well, cool. when you're spraying the spoons, do you fine sand them? No, there's there's all bits of crap caught in that. If I can get it close enough to look, yeah, there's all crap. See the crap all over it. Yeah, no, I'm I'm just looking for the color. That's all. Yeah, and that's a good color, that dude. Yeah, that'd look really good with a black bonnet, and I'm gonna probably say a gloss black wheel. Well, let's have a look at the uh, look at not black wheels. Because what I want to do, I was originally going to do that green. But I'm like, yeah. What I want to do, I want to use uh, that front grill with that bonnet and those wheels. Oh, yeah. That's Ooh. what I want to do. But I don't know, I do quite like the engine showing through as well. Mm -hmm. That's the, the power scoop. Yeah. I kind of like that. Do you get the option in the kit then? Yeah. Oh, it's cool. a new two in ones. Two in one, yeah. Oh. Two different engines. Oh. Two sets of rims and the two hoods. Oh, nice. So, what I was thinking was anything that's chrome can just go away, basically. Mm. You know, we have to do the uh, the chrome work black instead. Yeah, or gum metal or something. Are they chrome? Is it chrome in the kit? I don't know actually. I, about say, I, I thought that was. Like, don't, I don't think. Oh yeah. Gum mm. chrome. Um, our chunk is that chrome. Looks heavy from here. You, you could trip over it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's nasty. Oh, I love. I love Ravel and the chrome. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, right, so the grill is the grill's not in there, I think. It must be here somewhere. Usually, a bit of a brushed alley, they're a bit of a brushed chrome type. Mm -hmm. I've seen on those. Two different sets of tires as well. Random as hell, they don't give you side windows. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. uh, it, 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 the American kits don't seem to do it, do they? The same the trucks, rebel trucks, some of them don't give you side windows. Yeah. I wonder I wonder if that's because they're designed for an American market and some of the Americans like to cut the doors open. Mm, maybe. Maybe. There's the grill. Oh, the dash. Where's the hell's the grill? Oh, there, there. Maybe they're designed for them truckers mate kits. <laughs> no, the grill's all one piece stick in, so I don't know. But I think it'll look cool in that color. It's a good looking car, though. Oh, so it's a nice clean body, though. Oh, wow. Does it say what, what year? I don't think it's that old. This, I think it's 2013. Yeah. It's fairly new kit. Yeah, what colour to do the rims and what colour to do the chrome? Let's do it a different colour. Yeah, I'll, I'll be tempted to try and get some new wheels for that. <laughs> try and get some big uh, looking steelies. Mm, quite a high spokes, to be honest. Nice with a set of big fat rims in back, but that take loads of work. You put bigger ones in the back, smaller ones in the front, get some stance. Mm. That'd be a load of work, though, cutting wheel wells out of that. Might not be too bad. Yeah, I can't decide if I prefer the, uh, which hood. You could do like that one with the scoops on.
So, do you have any problems with it? Um, you go together, okay? Did you have any problems with it, Vamp? Or was it all right? Who? Guy in the chat built it. Which one do you reckon is better? The one with the engine, Sherwin, or the other one? Engine, Sean, I think. You reckon? I would do. I'd, I'd do the scoop. What, that one? No, no, no. The, oh. that, that, yeah. Cheers, Dan. Take care, mate. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, mate. It's quite it's quite a thing in those cars. That scoop. They're quite it's quite a special. Uh, Sense of night, doesn't it? Which that? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I can't really, I can't remember really the name of it. The shaker. Shaker. Yeah, I think it, I think Andy said in the chat it was shaker. Yes, yeah, sh shaker. Uh, Scam of Amps says the twin, the twin intake hood fits best. Okay. But yeah, if it fits best, then maybe it's worth, worth doing that one instead. He also said the motor's a bit fiddly and the bumpers need a bit of touch up. Yeah, the second intake hood doesn't fit and, has, and was warped. Oh, that's a shame. Okay. I'll have a look when it comes to um, um, We're due to start this on the first, but it will literally will be as soon as I tick that beam is done. Mm -hmm. You keep back buddy builds, you can budge them forward when you feel like it. See, I've got the older kit of the Cuba, and it has the uh, the slats for the rear windows, which your kit doesn't have. Oh, it's cool. a bit of a feature of the era as well. It's quite cool. That was a question I was thinking the other day. Why Claire's asking why are these not 20, 125th and not 24th? It is. Tamiya had a habit of picking their own scales. Yeah. They picked the 135th. That's yeah. where the 135th armor came from, was Tamiya. So it's probably Tamiya being different. Yeah. Well, the 125th scale's probably been around for years. Uh, that's well, it's, it's it's a quarter of 100, isn't it? Yeah. It makes sense to be 125. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's probably just Tamiya being Tamiya. And American stuff's always been 125. Mm -hmm. American kit, always been 125. Yeah, it looks a nice kit, that though. There's no, you, you, if you put a 125th and a 124th car next to each other, there's no difference. No, there's no difference. Um, the Turing car build has not been on two months. Yeah, it ends the end of this month, yeah. Yeah, that's good. I have four done just. Yeah, I'll have five. Yep. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I've got one. Why? <laughs> I've got wallets in the garage. The box. <laughs> <laughs> okay, vamp. Cheers. So we've got 107 people watching. I've just noticed on my phone where this sort of live chat and top chat option is. I've now got the number of viewers displayed all the time, which I've never had before. It's really handy. Doesn't it? Doesn't do it on my uh, computer. I know. Oh, I could say something, but uh, see, so I just click on there. I can just look down below. It says 110. Mm -hmm. Where's that Chrome? So going? Your phone? Yeah, you can see there, look. Hang on. Turn that off. So the way it says live chat here, yeah. got the number of viewers. Yeah. That's when you just started tonight. Oh, well, it's obviously in an update since last Friday, anyway. Cool. It's kind of handy, though. 114 viewing now. Really good. 107. <laughs> yeah, mine's jumping up and down a little bit as well. See you later, Steve. Uh, you are a uh, giveaway. Uh, 
we've got to give away. We've still got to give away. Go, haven't we? Oh, I haven't got to give away. I don't know. I'm missing out. Right. Yeah, I'm rushing out. Go on. I'm rushing the giveaway. Yeah, go on. You got your time ready, bud? All right. No problems. Okay. So I'll put my camera up as high as I can. So we've got this Trumpeter 135 T62, candidated by E Models. There you go. Very nice kit. That's gorgeous. Three jiggles on the top. <laughs> so all you're going to do to win that is look for Graham saying start numbers now and you'll see Norman's time is on the screen there as well and all you got to do is pick one number one number between one and a thousand after five minutes we'll stop it we'll do a live run of the generator and whoever gets closest wins this kit it's as simple as that you ready boys yes mate what do you know in three two one Number start. I like that box art. It's cool. Yeah, it's cool. Isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so they've got that dug into like a foxhole, and then what? Why have they got that canvas draped over the barrel? Try and hide it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Let's hide it from the A10s with a little bit of canvas. Really not going to work. That's cool. That's fine. A couple A10s buzzing over is not going to spot that. Easy, sorry, easily going to spot that. Off. How long have the A10s been in service? Years, mate. Hmm. I know they just extended them, out, haven't they? They pulled them out of retirement or something. Yeah, so I haven't really got anything to replace it. What a weapon that A10 is, eh? Yeah. Got that, why, um... why would you want to replace it when it's perfect for the job that it's designed to do? They've got that proppy thing that Norman likes, haven't they? What? What? But no, that is it. That is that the thing that you like, Norman? The one that's a what, propeller. That? No, that's our one, mate. Oh, is it? All right. Yeah, it's their their version. Just a. Uh, know that they are a lot of uh, companies buying it actually. Okay. It's like the prop version of the A10. Uh, thing. Hold on, I've got my A10 book out. I'll just go through. It was designed early seventies. When it was serviced mid seventies. Sixty one. Well, I thought I saw Ryan in the chat earlier. Hello, mate. Ryan, uh, see no evil. No, no. Ah, Mister Cancino. Yeah, none of his sexy bills on the thing today. Question for Norman from uh, Mr. Al McNeish. He said, uh, Norman, what do you do when the kit box is not big enough for your part built kit? Build a bigger box. <laughs> oh, dear. I've always got a bigger box. <laughs> All right. You got three. It's just two uh, left. Uh, mute. <laughs> two <laughs> minutes left. Uh, numbers in. Say that again, mate. Tim? Two minutes left. Okay. I can't remember what you what you're working on the minute, Ryan. I can't remember from last week now. Step yeah, side to finish. On a, another, I think it's another Chevy pickup. Hmm. And I know he's scratch built the frame and he's doing some other crazy stuff. What have we got in the background here then? What's that? Uh, let's have a look. I wonder if it's a really weirdly drawn T another T62, but a really badly drawn one. Yeah, it can't be. It's got that big overhang at the back of the truck. Oh, yeah, it's a completely different shape. Mm. Jarby? 
What's that? And there's a muzzle brake. Yeah, see, it's got... That's like an artillery piece, not artillery, soft gun. Yeah, isn't it? I don't know what they would have had. They must have had some sort of Russian... Um... Looks a nice kit, though. Yeah, they're very good. They're very good. These two and that said, this very kindly surprised us from emodels.com. Okay. Head on over there to their website and have a look. If they haven't got it, well... 30 seconds left, guys. Get your numbers in. There we are. Uh, Luke says, it is it the Enigma? No. No, it's not an enigma. Not it's, it's not, that's definitely not an enigma. It's a sulfur powered gun or something. That's like SP it. something. A barrel and a muzzle brake on it. You ready? Here we go. One. Three, ring, 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 ring. Numbers not, now. No one was muted. But ring, 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 ring. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, <laughs> Right, is that sharing? See you, Vamp. You were just too late. Uh, yes, mate, it is. Right, Sergeant Bones, walking up to one, two, three. Right, so put one to a thousand, ignore the one that was already there when I put the same one. I'm going to click this one, someone tell me that'll be the winning number. Uh, as always, if two people pick the same number, the first person to pick those monthly wins. And if you think those won, please don't shout out in the chat. These guys will check it once another winner, Graham, will announce it. So, the winner number four, the Trumpy T62 candidate of AIMOLS.co.uk is 819. 819. Would he say it was it 122? Yeah. No. No? No, it's not. It's not well, a Michael Mix was saying it's an SU152. It's, you know, that, that's maybe that's a bit more sounds a bit more better than that. It's one, a 122 is the new kit that's coming out. It's not a one. Right. 819 to the number. There's the number, guys and girls. You're looking now. Banner, banner, nice kit. There we go. Anyone got any plans for the weekend? Anything interesting? Yeah, swimming again, modeling, modeling. Thought it might be. Probably go out with the grandkids. Haven't decided where yet. Oh, nice. I'm going to monastery again, so she's just. I'm, uh, I'm off out in the morning to next to pick up some clothes for James, Sweet. which should be fun. And then back here, I'm going to 2K the Beamer. And um, then I don't know. We're going to work on probably the Beamer, still so carry on with that, I think. Don't forget touring cars Sunday. Yeah, touring cars end on Sunday. Hang on, does that end on Sunday? No, no, no British oh, nice. touring cars on Sunday. Ah, got you. Yeah, British, yeah, the actual real touring cars, yeah. yeah. Is there any MotoGP this weekend? No, it's Formula One. Yay! Belgian Grand Prix. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I'm definitely yeah. going out there. That's a great one. Yeah, I'm with oh. Norman. Right, there you go. It is, this is exactly what it is. I've got to find out what the number is. No, that's going to be annoying, isn't it? Because that is exactly what the tank is. I, I ain't seen that. I ain't seen that number. A two S one. That's a, that's what it is. Two S one. Are you on live chat or top chat, mate? No, I'm on live chat. I've not seen that one that Norm's put up. Um, yes, yeah, a two S one. That I'm, anyway. Yeah. Sorry, you know, Right, top chat. See that? Makes it yeah, I thought it was, Stephen. I thought there was Silverstone this weekend, MotoGP. I thought it was. Thank you, Stephen. I thought it was going mad then. Yeah, it's British Grand Prix, isn't it? I thought you were in Formula One. Banging on about that. No, Formula One's on this weekend, Belgium. Ah. No. Yeah. <laughs> there was a three way Grand Prix Saturday night. <sighs> Right, how uh, everybody else with Dan, uh, with Norman, sorry. Uh, stand by, caller, just check in. When do you buy you tonight, Sam? Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a bit breezy, a lot of rain as well, it's a bit moist. Yeah, no, I'll go with that, yeah, I've just found him. Yeah. All happy? Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, so for the lovely trumpeter, trumpeter T62, um, kindly given to us by emodels.co.uk, um, Paul used uh, Google's random number generator and generated number 819, and the nearest to that was 826. I believe he's one before, Mr. Teifel Teifel. Yeah. Hey. Well, well done, mate. Well, well done. done. Okay, you're doing an address to me, or I got that on the post for you. Well done. This is John Haywood's in the chat. Let's go, Mother Medic. Hey, John. Hey, John. Hey, John. Hey, John. Hey, John. <laughs> John. Oh, <laughs> John. Oh. John. Oh. John. Oh. John. Oh. There we go. That is a lovely model. Speedway GP. Yep, I'll be watching that. Three guys in the league tomorrow. Hey, you won't be here tomorrow night. No, no, mate. No, no. Yeah. Yep, is it gonna have a break again? <laughs> Speedway Leon, are you sitting with you? Here? Norman. Hey, is Leon, going to be sitting with you. Oh yes, we're sitting next to each other. We've got a little bottle of cook, a little bowl of crisps. We'll sit there and watch it. Granda, <laughs> ready, go! Boom. Okay. <laughs> right, that's for the 50th time. Can you be quiet and watch the next six races or so, quietly? Mm -hmm. Yeah, in about 20 minutes, it'll be. <laughs> oh, from you? Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> He's got to change my diet, didn't he? Oh, yeah. I'm off to Belton House tomorrow if the weather's okay. Where? Uh, Belton House. What's that? Uh, it's just the National Trust place down by Grantham. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's got like a massive, um, typical sort of National Trust, big house, but you can't go in. But there's like all the gardens and stuff. And then um, so it's like massive play area of thing for the kids with like massive climbing towers and scramble nets and all that kind of stuff. Never makes any sense that. Come to this big house, you can't go in it. <laughs> yeah. The house I'm over here now, but they wouldn't let me in them. The, um, the best one the, of the National Trust is uh, we've got near us called Hardwick Hall. And um, when you drive up to it, there's like a sort of fairly new sort of standing building. And next to it, there's a ruin um, of the original hall, which is all sort of crumbling and decrepit. And the, the the newer house is open to is open, and you can go in, and that's owned by the National Trust. But the ruin, which is literally right next door, you've got to walk past one to get to the other, is owned by English Heritage, and you've got to pay a different fee to go in. What? Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> ten minutes away from my ass. That one. Jimmy. Yeah, we go up there all the time because I've got National Trust. It's great for the kids. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's just weird that like, the, the the two separate entities are in the place. Bonkers. Well, I'm going to get my bloods done in the morning. And then... Whoa, thanks for that, mate. Big needle or little needle? He's getting punched in the nose, Tim. Probably <laughs> <laughs> days. And then I should be back and I shall be not disturbed all day, except for some nice deliveries. I hope. Oh, yeah. oh, on the subject of deliveries, uh, little fellow was made up. Sam, thank you, mate. Excellent. He, um, yeah, <laughs> he just looked and he went, what, what, what? I've, I've already got one. And I said, yes. I said, you know that Sam sent it to me? And he went, yeah. I said, well, I said that you wanted to paint it blue. And I said, rather than let me paint that one blue, he's bought you the other one. <laughs> wow, so I've got two. <laughs> I was like, Excellent. Yeah. That's good. Happy I'll days. I'll get him in a hangout to talk to you at some point. Yeah, no problem on that. Cool. Thank you, mate. Honestly, so happy. Sweet. The way I'm going, I'm going to it's going to save me some money on buying an extra display case because the, both the kids want the models in their rooms. 
his ornaments. Even better. Yeah, it's cool. Do you think we'll either the two of them pick up model on Matthew? Um, Spencer's had a go. The eldest, he's, he's 11. Um, and he, he, well, he's got a half built Revel Boxster sitting behind me, but mm -hmm. he doesn't, he doesn't seem to, to want to. I'm not going to push him. Ow. Punch him. <laughs> yeah. How do you, how's he going with you playing the Fortnite? Uh, he's loving it. He's yeah. Really loving it. Yeah. Um, How you do with him playing the Fortnite? Um, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. He, he's like, so I was I was uh, talking to Jay last night. Who's Jay? Um, somebody who <laughs> knows somebody who knows Alice. How does he know Alice? I don't know. Where does he live? I don't know. <laughs> I'm like, so you don't know anything about it? No. Does he know where you live? No. So you haven't told him where you live? No. Have you told him how old you are? No. No, that's all right. <laughs> he's, he's, he's switched on. He's pretty sharp, but still doesn't take away the worry. Nope. But it is all kids playing that. Uh, it's, it's not. A lot, of, a lot of my mates play. Um, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, a lot, a lot of my mates. On there, just playing kids. Um. His own yeah. age, pretty much all the time. He's always playing kids his own age. Yeah, he, he is as well. I mean, because they, they they're in party chat rather than game chat as well. So yeah, I think yeah, that's good. you know they're not they're not being exposed to the smack talking and stuff in the general chat. So that's all good. He's just started playing. I bought him it yesterday. He's just started playing Rocket League. Oh, um, oh in the cars. Yeah. Oh, my boy loves that. Yeah, but he was. I it's so hard to control. Yeah, it's not really my thing. I mean, I've never been into that kind of thing at all, but he was asking for it, and, I was, and he says, oh, I'll put a couple of my mates playing. I said, right, okay, then fair enough. So I got him at the other day, and yeah, him, well, in fact, he's got his little brother, who's five, has started playing it with him. I bet, bet he's asked, isn't he? <laughs> I'll tell you what, little one's coping. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's quite hilarious. He's like, come play with me, Dad. I'm like, all right. And there I am, I'm just sort of driving around in the middle, just doing this sort of thing and I'll, I'll, I'll try and head for the ball two seconds later it's over there I'm like, oh. yeah. yeah this is it's like playing the football games in a car yeah. like, more annoying but like, i can do cars but i can't do football this is just terrible yeah. yeah it's um it's a real skill it's a cool game good fun yeah i've got to get your boy's id so i can give it to my boy so you can uh, uh, spot the ninja Hey, it's Spud the Ninja. <laughs> yeah. It's probably shouldn't have told you that I'd live on there, should yeah, I? Yeah, I just realised that, actually. Yeah, yeah. That was a good thing. Yeah, it's, it's Jeffy's modelling. <laughs> <laughs> that was the first name I could make up quick. My Jeff name is Jeff. Jeffy's modelling. How the hell does that work? He'd be like, I've just had 500 friend requests. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> They're all middle-aged men. This is a bit weird, Dad. What's that mean? Just looking at um, Matt's um, Scooby Doo. Yeah, he's put the second job on those seats. I haven't seen the seats. Oh man, you look so real. Look at leather green in them as well. Look really what? good. That bike engine he's done at all. It's absolutely cracking. He's done a good job of that, hasn't he? And he's done some nice carbon work as well. Looks really good. Well, we've got 82 viewers. So I think it's time for us to call it a night. So, um, put the camera on there. There we go. Uh, so, there we go. Thanks for watching, everyone. Um, like I said, I hope to get that review done. Probably do it Sunday at the King Tiger. Uh, probably a bench update Monday or Tuesday. Um, I've got something else planned, but I'm keeping that quiet for now. Oh, Ooh. yeah, no one's finding out. Uh, yeah. And that is it, really. So, um, if you've got your touring car builds, try and get them done before the end of the month. And obviously, if you've got a must car you want to take part in, I'll set a session up on the forum. Uh, I'll probably do that tomorrow. Um, and you can post in how we're going to build, and then we'll get the truck build um, instigated on Facebook and see if we can get some interest for it first. And now, John, you have to join earlier, mate. Or you can join the hangout in a minute. 
I can send you a link to the Hangout. Mm. Um, and that's it. So we'll catch you all next week. Thanks, everybody, that watched. Thanks for Dan for doing his section, Graham for doing his section, Tim for reading the chat, Norman for being handsome, Graham for being Graham, Sam for being the charismatic chimp that he is, <laughs> and uh, me for being awesome and being the, the famous one. Yeah, the famous one. And uh, well done to the winners. And uh, in the chat and that we'll see you all next week so the hangout link's going to go up in a minute so come join the modeling hangout group you have to be quick though because i almost guarantee it's going to fill up in a minute very quickly and uh we'll catch you all next week so thanks for watching bye bye everyone Take care. Bye. Bye.